Bruchem Abayim, welcome. That's a shleishim. It's an unusual shleishim. For outstanding, Eisig Avein L'Chayid, Ayrish Yeshiva, Rav Rabbi Yisrael Yitzchak, Ben Rabbi Yaakov, Olav HaShalom. For the week of Sfiras HaTiferes and Sfiras HaEmer, the Feres is Yaifi, Te'er, Vahadar, this before that Yaifi comes from when the the bit of the Chaimer al Atzura, Chaimer Gashmis itself there is no Yaifi. When the Chaimer expresses the Tzura, when the Chaimer is bottle al Atzura, it's nicker. When the Gashmis, the Ruchnis, and Nefesh from dark become Yaifi. The Bisrol Talmud Gahad as Tzela Lichtekeit, which was at the Gestrat from them, certain Ha'aras from them, Ha'adras from them. At them, the Gemara says in Brachis. So also now in this situation, and The first thing, basically, with our Bachrim or Messiah was Chalukas Mishnai, Sayin the Shiva and Sayin the Shleishim. When I asked one of the Talmidim to make a Siyah Mishnai, it's a Talmid which G'dayla Shimusha Yesem Limuda. He had this chus to help out Rabbi Yisrael very much in the last couple of months, in a very idle way in Rabbi Yisrael's, whatever it was needed, whether it was a ride home, a ride to the oil, the Kayetze Bezeh, the last Katomim Shalemid Lefkowitz to be Messiah Mishnai. So just before I make the seum, I want to speak a little bit about my personal relationship with Rabbi Yisrael this year. So I'm sure we're going to hear in the video from a lot of his Talmidim throughout all the years. I mean, I was there this year and Rabbi Yisrael was not in his youngest of age. And so I had the schos of helping him out in certain things that he Lepel needed help. For example, if it was raining outside, I had the schos of driving him home. There was a few times he needed to get to the aisle and I drove him to the aisle and there was a few things that I had discussed of being that I was there this year that I had that you might not hear so from so many people about Rabbi Yisrael. So out of all these times in the car, I would really try my best to take advantage of the you know, special time with him. So I would ask him stories. I, I remember, for example, once I was asking about the first time he saw the Rebbe. And he told me the whole story, how he was originally in Rabbi Yisrael, then he went to London. And when he came in the plane from London to New York, he was with a lot of Bahram, and they arrived at around in the afternoon, maybe around four, five o'clock. And they all ran to the mikvah because they knew that they might be seeing the rabbi. This was in Tafshi and Zion. And they wanted to make sure they went to the mikvah before they saw the rabbi. So they all were at the mikvah at five o'clock. And the rabbi walked into the mikvah, and all the Bahram ran. And the rabbi turned to Rabbi Yisrael and asked Rabbi Yisrael, why are all the Bahram running? So that was the first time Rabbi Yisrael uh, Saw the Rebbe. That was actually like a week before his, his actual birthday. Um, so, aside from Rabbi Yisrael being the Rosh Hashiva Bali Tayyar for already the, this year was his 50th year, and in all the amazing ways he was at Rosh Hashiva, um, Rabbi Yisrael is also known for a lot of his charisma outside of Yeshiva. For example, I I once was walking Rabbi Yisrael home, and just from the way how the crossing guard was so happy to see Rabbi Yisrael. The way how Rabbi Yisrael made sure to say obviously good night in a very respectful way, and I was I was even once driving home with them, and he said, "Oh, maybe I should say good night if I'm not walking. I should maybe open the window and say good night." And I I once went to the bank with him, and the uh, the bank tellers were all so excited to see him wherever he went, wherever he met. Everyone was always excited to see Rabbi Yisrael. It was always something people looked forward to. And one of the amazing things that happened this year with Rabbi Yisrael is my chavros and I, Mayor Lazarov. Um, we found out already in the beginning of Cheshvan that his birthday was coming up in Yudal Kislev. So we decided that we want to make a big deal out of his birthday this year. We're going to make a big deal out of his birthday and a big deal out of the fact that it's his 50th year in Alitera. So we knew that Bishol is not so, such a man for, he's not looking for big parties and Kabe did all of Bishol. He was not, Kabe was not his thing. Um, but we decided that we're going to have to make a big deal out of it. So already from maybe, I think already after Yudal Cheshvan, a month before, we already started telling him, you know, your birthday's coming up and we want to make you a big birthday party. And he was right away saying, no, well, birth I say birthday party is a joke, but Rabbi Yisrael was saying, obviously, a for bringing. And Rabbi Yisrael was looking, we were, we were trying to convince him to agree to make us a shtickle for bringing. 
So when I got close to the time and we decided, yeah, we're actually making this birthday and we were really convincing him, Mayor and I were pushing every day we were speaking to him about it. And when it got close to the time, we were starting to speak about all the technicalities. For example, what time it's gonna start, it was on a Thursday. So Bishrola right away said from the beginning of the week that it's gonna start at 10 p.m. So we right away, of course, said, okay. But we also went away wanted to start earlier. You know, Bishrola was already in a, he wasn't so young anymore. So we wanted to maybe start earlier so it could go for later. And obviously the yeshiva, the manal, everyone wanted to be sold to start earlier. Maybe the whole yeshiva should start something together at eight o'clock. Rabbi Yisrael said, no way, 10 o'clock. He was not giving in to anything. He said he didn't want to get in any Bachram's way of any learning, of any seder. We're starting at 10 o'clock, fine. So we were arranging it, speaking to some people about, you know, what's going to be with Rabbi Yisrael. So everyone was saying, oh, he's in a forbidding. Maybe he's going to start at 10, he'll be finished by 12. He's not really going to say l'chaim. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to be interesting. But no one, no one expected Rabbi Yisrael to be so alive, so b'chayistik. But it came final the night, the day of the forbidding in Hananiah. You know, we actually bought Rabbi Yisrael a gift. We, and so I, I went to Rabbi Yisrael's house, I picked him up, I drove him to Yeshiva, and we walked into the room, and Rabbi Yisrael really wasn't sure what to expect, meaning I kept on telling him he was gonna be a forbidding him, but he wasn't a part of any of the details, so he wasn't sure what's coming up. And he walked into our, his classroom, the big classroom, and there was already like maybe about a hundred bachrams standing around, and throughout the night, a lot of alumni came, and he saw the first thing he said when he walked in, he turned to me and he laughed. He said, they're all here to hear me? Like, it's garnish for Satan? They are nothing to do with themselves, they're here to hear me? As I'm sure anyone who met Rabbi Yisrael knows exactly what I'm talking about. And then we gave him, right when he got to, to his table, we gave him the gift, which was a picture of him going by the Rebbe, Tafshim and Bez, the last um, time he went by the Rebbe for dollars. It's a very nice picture. But Rabbi Yisrael didn't really show any, uh, he said, like, he didn't show anything towards it. Like, even Bachman were laughing, like, Rabbi Yisrael, like, they thought like he didn't care about the gift. And, but then the Fabrengan went on and it, it, there's a recording of it. Um, the Fabrengan was, the Rebbe Yisrael was very much alive and very, a lot of chayas. And everyone was saying it was gonna go till 12 o'clock and we saw Fabrengan till past two till about 2.30 and he said a lot of chayim and all bachim were just, a lot of bachim didn't really have a relationship, first of all, because it was only Kislev. Second of all, because Rebbe Yisrael these days, not so many bachim had a cash with him because he wasn't really running around Zal like he used to. And so people just a lot of, for a lot of people that was their, that was how they met Rabbi Yisrael and they couldn't get over the fact that Rabbi Yisrael for bring like that. But Kitsa the for went nicely till two thirty and we drove him home at two thirty and we walked into his house with him and then we already spoke to him about the picture. Then he already told me that he really much appreciated the picture and it was very nice and um, he very much appreciated it as a gift. And the night went on and that was that was the story of Rabbi Yisrael's birthday and. It was obviously his last, his real last for bringing, and I'm sure for all the Bachrim that were by the for bringing, it meant a lot to them to be there by for bringing Rabbi Yisrael like that. So now I'm just going to finish off with the Siyam, Mishnah Yud Beis, in Uksim, Amri Rabbi Yeshua, Ben Levi, Asari Kaddish Baruch Hu, Lahanich Lachot Tzadik with Tzadik, that Kaddish Baruch Hu is going to bequeath to every Tzadik, Shleish Meis, Vahasar Elamis, 310 um, worlds. Shenamar, that says in the Pasuk Commission in Mishli, Lahanchil Aivai Yesh, by Yisrael Seyam Amali, that I'm going to bequeath to the people that love me, Yesh, um, 310, by Yisrael Seyam Amali, and I'm going to fill up their storehouses. So, Amr, Rabbi Shim, and Chalafta, Loi Matzak, Rish Baruchu, who Kli Machzik, Brachli Yisrael, Ela Hashalim. So, Rabbi Shim and Chalafta said that um, Hashem didn't find any Keli to hold. The bracha um, for Yisrael, the only thing he found was Shalom. Shenemar says in Tehillim that Hashem is Am Yitin, Hashem Yivarak Sam Yishalim, that Hashem gives strength to his people and Hashem blesses them with Shalom. Adran Allah, Adran Allah, Shisa Sidi Mishnah. but what is it about Ali Taira? What is it about the Zal of Ali Taira? 
What is, if the, I can tell you tonight, share with you tonight one unique ingredient in the base medrash? Because many yeshivas have great Rosh Yeshiva. Every good yeshiva has a great Rosh Yeshiva. I call upon a longtime friend of Rabbi Yisrael, a longtime friend of Aliteira, a supporter of many Moistas and this holy Moistas, Harav Agoyen, Rabbi Yitzchak Greatport, to present Rabbi Yisrael, and I also call upon Rabbi Yisrael to please join us up here to present Rabbi Yisrael with an award. Gile, Akel me battle and Kriya Sam Gile. 
גמור לזוג מבטלו אותם, מתירים מכאן, גמור לברינג את הברייסה, מכאן שמבטלו אותם, מתירים, הוא מכיר את זה מגיל לפן דבר ווסטי שיילה, אני בספריים, וזברינג את המחרינים, וספרק דה שיילה, קרי זה מגיל לזה איך לימוד התיר, וספס מבטלו אותם מתיר, בווסטי שיילה, ווסטי ספס ביטל תיר. אז דרבת זוג תסת וצוי סונגון ומדוסי ידריך פן כמה תירוצים בזה, כדי לשרוד. לימוד התירי וסבדפסו זה איזביון, מתאבונה, מפרשתם, וזה עולה לנעריים טובים דמשיכו, דוסי דרין איפה לימוד התירי. במילא אז אין איפה קריאה סם גילה, ודוח קריאה סם גילה, ליינן דה מגילה, ניש ליינן דה מגילה, נו ליינן דה מגילה, זונדש מיץ. במילא איסטס אגד איפה ביטל תירי. במילא זוג ירדן קופר ביצ'לן, ‫יש כובד, ‫תנסו לגבי את הזעם, ‫שזה הנהולת, לגבי את הזעם, ‫ועל הווייסן, ‫בוחרים זיסנו לרנר, ‫בארחובה, ‫ובעיון, דוסידרינים פונזל, ‫ברט פרידר מונט, ‫פעם בוחרים, ‫לרנר תרא בעיון, ‫איכוד ניפלו ושתי דולושי נתניה, ‫מיירר ברוכה, ‫אין איכוד קומי נמצא כלל וגשם יס. ‫שגון איתו, אז זה ייחוד עם גשמיס. ‫כבר זוג איזה מחמכו ‫עד גרייסן קובד, ‫סוליב דה ישיבה, ‫תראי בשתי זו הלפן, ‫אז מזומחם, ‫באבת עם דוסי איכר, תעיני, ‫שתי תיכן טניה, ‫אפסנלם טניה. ‫זה העניין, ‫דרבת מהמוגי זאת, ‫קומן, יאסד מנשיר, ‫כמו באבת, ‫מתחת צריך סגמן דרשת השיר. ‫אני יכול מהסס גווז, ‫אז כאן זה נסתירה. ‫עוד רבי זאת עד רבי, ‫שהטיפ והכיח מיוחד, ‫פעדי תלמידים, ‫במילא דוסים מין סוזורים, ‫אז בלבטים דף נכלה נתיר. ‫רק על פעמים אנחנו שקוראים את זורים, ‫דם מוסר, ‫מן הגויל מה מדיינקט. ‫אי פחו עניין לגמרי, ‫זאת דיינקם פר כובד, ‫אז זה יהיה, ‫מזנשמי מייס בכובד, ‫אבל זאת גם כובד, ‫אז אי פחו אכסידס, ‫זו נשמח עם קנטויס. ‫נובדנס למחן גלטות מדוסכת. ‫ויש איך נפגעו. ‫אפשר מיתנא יחזור גם גלט. ‫דוס אלס וזה כן מיישב זין דמיני. ‫בעיקרי זה דריב שזה הלפן זו זין. ‫מגאולה לגאולה, ‫אז זה לנסבו חכומים, ‫דבא בוסטה רמב"ם, ‫אז דרבא פלג זכשתר כוחם, ‫למיסא משיח, ‫תרבא חכמה ועדי, ‫זו זין מולו רצדי כמים ליום מחסים. ומוזיים מגולה לגולה בגולה אמיתיס והשלמים מתנראה מצוזם עם גרן כגם משיחם בקורם ממש. בנסף תמיילס עצמי רבי ישראל עזיר גוון המיוחס, אין אין לכל תל המגד ולברום המהלך, בוטי וזיידס ורחושי וחסידים, ביאן, רבונים, מנדס, ניוקריין, רוז'ין. גם רבי סרוט נשליב גהט, זה לא לייק מייקינג אצימס על הווית, אין גנץ נשמע לכם כאצימס פנדם, ובין האשתורץ יקר חב"ד, לבבית של חוסיד, ולפת אלמול בתאמן, ורבי נשמע סעיד מזלושן, דאגדום את הימים יום, דאט תסכיס ושנו לדאח, שנחילונו אביסינו הקדושים, והיא היא תרס על השם, בסוף את אלמול, והיא היא שונה הכוסת לעקי, לדוס את תרס על השם, וחסידיס, That's the Teres of Hashem. We have the COVID to introduce a close relative to Rabbi Yisrael, first cousin, which Rabbi Yisrael actually is Angestein of Emin Shtub in his first years in America. We'll have the COVID to hear Etla Chaverter from Rabbi Meisha Stern, Eresh Kehlel, Ostriko, and Eres Yisrael. Rabbi Stern. I want to talk a little bit about our... חבל על דאב דנרו משתק חן, אבל השיר רב ישראל, פרידמן. I was his cousin, his mother was a sister of my mother. That's what I am in the country. My name is Moishe Stern. We lived in America till 1964. רב ישראל came to America on, on about 1957 or something like that. It was a lo- young, young, young boy who was out about 70 years or something like that. He had no family in America. We were the only family. My mother was his aunt. 
She was the only family that he had. So he was, he was a lot in our house. We lived in Williamsburg at that time. About 1960, we moved to Crown Heights. And then he got married. So he was in our house. Our house was his house. Abiz Hul was a special person. I have to talk a little bit in, y in Yiddish because my English is, is not, not so good. Abiz I want to talk about his family a little bit. His mother is from the city Rizhen, Rizhen in, Ro in Russia. But the, the Heilige Rizhen was, was the famous Rizhen at the time of the Tzemer Tzedi. His mother's father was the, he was the roof and the, the, the rabbi from the city. She was a special person. We didn't get to all the people in, in Chabad in that school. She had a little restaurant in Chabad. She was a person that was killer for, for other people, never thought about herself, never did not say something for herself. In the, 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 school in the, in the time in, he was a small boy, the war uh, came out, so they, they moved to some account in Russia. In Russia. The school was a little boy. They had nothing in the house. His father was also a very famous person. His father's father was the Ruben Ades, was the Enikl of the Magid of Mizrej of the Malach. And in the time when the state when the when the war broke out, he was a young fellow, his father. They took him in the in the army. He never came back, he never came home. So, so his mother stayed with, with, with poor little children, three sons and one, one girl they had. And he was a little boy for about four years or something like that. He go out without a father. The time was terrible in, in Russia. He came to, to, to Samarkand when he was a little boy. There was nothing but to eat in the house. It's terrible. The stories that my mother used to say what happened there in Russia was terrible. How much was it? She was a little boy. 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 Chadurim that they had in summer camp. And it was, it was a, when a Yiddish kind is a given, a special English given. A Kabunim, that was in summer camp. Then they came out after, after they went out of Washington. They were in, 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 in Poking in Paris. And they came to Israel. She had Messiah Snevish, his mother had Messiah Snevish for Torah. And she came to Israel, she didn't have what to eat. And she went to work. He would be able to help her a little bit. She didn't want to take him out of the yeshiva. And he grew, out, he grew out as Buch as a given as It was a time that they learned in Lud that they were looking for a Shishib in Lud. So they sent the Jude one of the, the special, the, the famous Buchim that learned in the Yeshiva, as Eilik Feldman, and uh, uh, Luz Agarelik was a good Buch at that time. Another few Buchim that they sent them to some uh, rabbi to take him, maybe he should be a Rosh Yeshiva. This one was one of the Buchim that went to see if he is. Matim to be a Rosh Hashivah in the Yeshiva. He was a special book. Our uh, he was younger than other ones. That was in Kharaba, that was in Lut. Then he came to, to, to America to 770. He was also still a young boy, about 17 or something like that. Maybe 18 was on Shpinka. Shinadi Gamasmit. Kol Chai even Og Ben Toyre. Maybe I, uh, in Yiddish I can say it a little bit better. This is a pale, a man who is the Rabbi Shul. I wish I had to know him as a colleague of Mechayev, but I wish I had to know him as a Kihuze. I wish I had to know him as a Kihuze. I wish I had to know him as a Kihuze. I wish I had to know him as a Kihuze. I wish I had to know him as a Kihuze. Mit der ganzen Frischkeit, scharf ist er gewesen, hat gerade der Körper gesagt, er ist nur mamisch gewesen. Und mit der ganzen Lebendigkeit, kein Kilo ist er gewesen teurer. Er hat mich gekriegt, er will ein bisschen verstehen, wie er so hat er das gekannt sein. Er hat mich gekriegt, er hat gesagt, 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 er hat gewonnen, als er verginnert, hat er so ein Neues gehabt, zu jenem so Simche, hat er hat Gunsch gehabt. Er hat Gunsch gedacht, um für sich. Er gewonnen, er hat mit dem ganzen Land, mit der ganzen Scharfkeit, mit der ganzen 
Avuna, und im Gutsch, ich kann tut nahm, aber das alles verstanden mit, mit der größten Tiefkeit. Ist ein gewöhner, ein gewaltiger Fuß ist gewöhner, ein, ein gewaltiger Bittel hat er gehabt, ein Bittel, ein Bittel, ein Bittel von Remmer, aber das hat nicht alles gewöhner, ein Mensch mit, mit, mit der ganzen Scharfkeit, ist ein gewöhner, so ein Bittel, Le Marzik de Wiese, le Nafshi, Chotschat, gibt verstanden, hat gewiss, er hat es neu, er hat gewiss, wie gewiss er ist. Er hat gewiss, dass er nicht nur sagt, mit dem sie gewinnen, er sagt, da bin er, wenn er sagt, 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 er und das Schier hat er mitgemacht. Es appelle, bis ich immer hier achrein, bis ich immer hier achrein, bis ich immer hier achrein, ist er geblieben mit der Frischkeit, dass er hier in Gemahm hat. Bloß für jenen, für die Talmiden, übergegeben für die Talmiden, für strengen Talmiden, in, 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 Talmidim und Bet, aber was man gehört, die Schirm sind, jeder, jeder Tug, jeder Schirm für jeden Tug, die gehen eine ganze Maruche, das Gewehr. Doch, 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 in dem Heulem Hase, und der Gunschke hat sich in der Tanne steht dort, in der Lüschen dort, und das darf sein, ihr seht dort in der Lüschen, ich sage, nein, ihr seht dort in der Lüschen, ich sage, ihr seht in der Lüschen, ich sage, ich kann mich nicht schwillen, ich will nicht mehr haben, und ich lese das auf, und ich sage, nein, ich will nicht mehr haben, und ich sage, ich will nicht mehr haben, und 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 alles ist im Gitt gewesen. Ich bin ein spezieller Mensch, ich bin sicher ein Buch. Da ist ein bisschen Lupplärme von den Mittelsten, von den Arbeiten des Hashem. Weil ich sage, ich muss das auch sagen, wie Kiez wir alle nicht scheuchen, ich muss scheuchen, ich muss scheuchen. My earliest recollections of Rabbi Yisroel was when he came from Eretz Yisroel as a Bacher. And then a few years later when he started to go to Newark, we stood in the same general area, but if I bring in, I was a young, I mean, it was about uh, before Bar Mitzvah even. And Rabbi Yisrael would come every Shabbos, 20 after 1, when he would finish davening, looking for the Makam Suda to be able to make Kiddush. And he had to go back this one and this one until I said, Efshah Zestah Mitzvah of the Makam Suda. So since then, every week, I would save a couple of Kichlach, and it was, so I'm hearing, and he would come straight up to me, Mamish, 25 after one, and make Kiddush, because he was davening till then. And as time grew older, and especially in the last uh, tens of years, since the Kinnasah Shluchim started, Rabbi Sol in general took very great pride in the Shluchim and the Avedis HaShlichas. He used to speak to me a lot, very, very encouraging. You know, Rabbi Sol felt himself to be part of the Shluchim, and he was unique, and I knew that he meant it so with Anemis. He wanted to be in the picture with the Shluchim, and we used to save him a place in the front row. And even before we opened registration for the Kinnis, Rabbi Yisrael would call me and says, Moshe, gedenk, gedenk, ich komm. And he would see me Shabbos, es mir gemacht a Platz, es mir gemacht a Platz, he saved me a place. And even this last year, I believe he even came to the Kinnis. He says, Schlepsuch to wherever it was. And he was a great adherent of everything that was going on. So, you know, aside from that, he kept personally very close. Every year, some chastered by day, he would come to my house and he would fabreng. And as everyone who ever sat through Rabbi Solza fabreng it, knew how unique it was. There was always some part of Lukut to trade in it, but there was always a monstrous, gashus to do more, to and he would farang with such a varunkeit. I have to give him Thomas. You know, we miss the Rebbe's farangans. This was nothing is a substitute for that. But 
Rabbi Saul's Fabrengim was Moli Teichen, and Zitzin the Tchsidim is to sit with him by a Fabrengim was very, 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 very heartwarming and was very inspirational. Rabbi Yisrael, it's hard to say on him all of Hashalom, but he will always be remembered. I was never zeichet to be a Talmud of his, but he treated me like such a good friend that I'll never forget him. First of all, we were close, learning together with him in Pardes, in Lud. He was one of the non state Talmudim to Rosh Lachaim, Zam with Andre Zwei. And now there is a Rabbi for some Rebbe. Ich bin ich vor zum Rebbe, a year two years später, aber ich bin ein Sach hinger. Und ich bin gekommen dort zum Rebbe. Und er hat mir als älterer Bocher, und ich ein Jünger, ich bin 15 Jahre alt, er gewesen, so mit 20, hat mir eine Karte gewesen, ich habe mich gekehrt auf mir. Wir haben gesessen, alle mal zusammen, am selben Tisch, in seiner Seite auf eben, zusammen mit ihm. Und wir haben alle gehabt, am Mirndike, Herr Roche, nach der Recherz für ihn. Weil er gewinnt, nicht nur Stamm, ein guter Kopf, nicht nur Stamm, ein Masmit, nicht nur Stamm, ein guter Sekorn, ein Sache Dies. Er hat Porsche gewinnt, aber mit des Lebens. Er kam ihm gegen fünf Jahre Jünger von mir, at least, für den Kopf gehen mit mir, für den Sein mit mir neu. Ich habe gehabt, an mir in die Teile zu schreiben, Svorim. Und Moschel, Tof, Reis, Ein, Aleph, ist jemand nicht gedruckt. Und noch ist klar, hat die Hattes Bixav, aber bei ihm genommen, es geht nach Hemschech von Rosh Hashanah, Ein, Aleph, und nach Hemschech von Pesach, Ein, Aleph. Noch ein Bede im Schechem, die wir geschrieben haben, auch wäre es, ich hoffe es auch, auch wäre es. Was der mir gebeten, ich werde keinen geben das. Nicht, dass ich gelernt habe, in zwei, drei Wochen, dass ich auch gelernt habe, im Schechem. Und das ist mir auch im Krieg. Ich habe gedacht, ich meine nicht zu sagen, ach, so ein Affemissen. Wenn ich mich komme, ein Topfschein, Jutches, wenn ich komme zum Seven Seventeen, ist Meister gewesen, ich gehe nach Port von Erzisrol, nach Port von Russland, und der Meister gewesen für lokale Bocher, von Borough Park, von Benzenhäus, und dann fiel ich gewesen am Bert. Wenn ich mich komme, wenn ich mich komme von Erzisrol, von Pardes. Und das Brüder geguckt, dass ich so gehen, als ich so gehen, die ganze Zeit, als ich so gehen, als ich so gehen, als ich so gehen. Ich denke, ich bin heim. Ich bin gewöhnt, sehr, sehr zu brauchen. Und wir kommen zu einem, zu einem Loch, wir stehen in der Herz. Und wir kommen, ich sag, es ist so. Es ist so. Was geht da? Sagt er mir, es ist schimmer. Guck dich auf der Seite. Sie ist da mit mir am einen Tisch. Und lass mich da sitzen zusammen. Auf dem Tisch. Guck nicht auf jeder Seite. Ich habe gedacht, ich habe es jeden Tag. Und ich habe gedacht, ich habe das Zimmer. Und wir haben schon gelernt, nicht gelesen. Ich habe noch elf. Ich habe erst heute gekommen im Zimmer. Ich habe brennen, die Knie flackern, die Kipponen. Und ich habe da gewonnen. Ich habe gegangen, ich habe es essen. Und dann habe ich gekommen, ich habe gelernt, nicht gelesen. Das ist eine von den Sachen, die ich in der Bistrung habe. Andere auch, aber sie sind nicht gewöhnt, aber sie haben ein Format. Nicht aber sie haben. Er hat gehabt, dass sie ein ganzes Gewinn oder Teufel. 
Dus ze had gedacht, met een acht bochelen, honderd bochelen, met een gedacht, lekker kreukjes. En voor de ganze zaad, een schuurin. Nog een, nog de mannen teuren. Had ik gemaakt als hier, voor, voor, een balle bakken. Nikkelen, gemoren. Ik heb een geleerd, maar de eerlijk, maar zwelf jaar. Nog acht draadjes, als hier. Dat ben ik meer op het leven spijten. Is nine drugs. A shoot side. Shoot, seven hoot nog. A blood je moor. Nicht de moeite van jou niet. Je leert goed in, je leert niet in wat je leert. En er is die En er is die leert, kom ik maar ga je weg. A vers je weet winter, snee. Ben nog ooit gekomen. Als je zo behaard hebt, is het alright. Dat kom je als je zo arbeid, dat kom je leren. En het is geweest in de dag. Ja, het is hier. Het is daar, dat is het. Zeg, hoe is het? Kom die tent om die wees, want ik weet de lood op je zee. Die mamoren moesten gezocht en lood. Je neemt naar stonden, stonden aan de houden. Die van mamoren, lange mamoren, we remmen het schaar. Dat is allemaal goed. Het is geen donker, het is geen kan gaan smaal, het is geen kan gaan elektrisch. En de, de mamoren moesten gezocht tot ze te grissen stikken. En ze begaan gezessen, mogen Schroon op de mijmer, ze niet mee staan. De ganze koop op de kamer, dat hebben we hier jet. De koop. Het is op de mijmer, die zijn gezocht. Er is geweest in mijmer. Wat je zei, met ooit, wat je zei, er is geweest in de mijmer. Ooit weer wat je had kooien gezocht, of zie ik. Mijmer. Ooit weer wat je had kooien, als je het er gezocht, mijmer. Wat er gemaakt, en heb je zo'n vriedman, aan mijn spier. Op de ganze wereld. Niet door een spier, door het aan de schilder komt. Of de nee schieven. Te begrijpen wat er als hem zegt, nee. Op de ganze wereld wordt er geweest naar mijn spier. Er is, er is boekje schaast. Alles, niet gezien is. In feit, niet er geweest naar wonder, die al zo is er geworden, op al niet Er is geweest, mijn tientje is er geweest, de ik heb bij hem is geweest, gezien is. Mit Davenen, mit Parichus. Aber hier mal auch nicht, dann war ich es. Was ich, wenn er gewann ein junger Bocher, er hat gekommen von Russland, er hat den Taten und den Kemat wie nicht gekannt. Ich meine, man kann sagen, den Kemat hat er nicht gekannt. Und sein Mann hat ihm aufgeordnet mit dem Messias Nefesh. Er hat gelitten, als der Bocher ist er gewann nicht gesund, Ein starker Kränkbacher ist immer noch daraus gekochen. Aber was ich will herausbringen von dem, als er viele Bescheid, er gewann nicht gesund und er gewann in Spital, gemacht zwei Jahre, hat er dort in Gesetzen gelernt und gedauert, als sehr wie ein Bacher von dem Ritmen. Was er sagt, Bacher, wenn er sich gewann damals, als er kränkt, was er sagt, wenn sie gekommen sind, haben sie dort geahnt. Aber bei ihm, Also ich stehe bei Janke auf Schollen bei den Hosse, auf Schollen bei der Rosse, ich habe das nicht vergessen, die Teure mit allen Jönnen. Und damals hat man gerät, dass er Afler und Feller, als ein junger Boch, ich hatte viel mit 30 und am Morgen die Zeiten dort ist gewesen, sehr verbrennt, ich will nicht mit Ton gerät nach vielen, aber ich will schwer, ich will reingehen. Sie gewinnen gemacht, dass sie, wenn man nicht gewollt gehen, in den Militär, auch in den Jungen, was man darf lernen, man passiert, als der Boch ist gegangen in den Militär, die meisten Bochen sind ein bisschen abgekrochen. Aber er hat gerade im Nisoyen nicht mit dem Mato und mit dem Mailot gemacht, dass er der Soldat von sein. Und nachher beginnt, und das nicht angeregt, und kein Sorgen noch verkehrt, als durch dem, was er gerade in den Mainzen, die Schiffe, hat er sich noch mehr übergeben zu Teure und Mitzvahs. Der Trebe sagt in Tanja, dass Abba bei Achwa und Mitzvahs ist nur bei dir, was er ist am Nachschub Iker und Begruf am Toffel. Und wie so hat Abba gehabt, eine natürliche Freundlichkeit, eine Freundlichkeit, eine gewisse Offenheit und Klosenheit, die jemand mit ihm hat. Es gab keine Barrieren zwischen ihm und den jungen Talmudim. Es gab immer nur Mechitzis, eine offene Yachas. Zwischen seinen Nante, gar Nante Chaverim, Is, uh, I remember a couple of years ago, we were in Masada Rafa bringing for his 80th birthday in Altaira. 
And the one Haver from the Alter Haverim which came, was the Bavram Shemtiv, which came from Philadelphia then, is that some very soft, I bring Etl Chesha, Tzugeher, and then if I bring himself a Etl Chesha, would like up the COVID to her Etl Chaverter, when I did Kari from Rabbi Yisrael, measure all these years, Rav Rav Avram Shemtiv, Yeshiv Reish, Akudas, Tzidei Chabad, Rav Shemtiv. Thank you for coming. A on Friday on the vacation was it schwer to observe, but schwer to refuse. And that's to get my perverter when the lemon from the bishop came. So I have the account of the shishiva, the spia, the dogmachaya, simcha. Und hier in der selben Zeit sehr seltene Gelegenheit. Zu mir wird man zusammen gekommen, zu beten, geben einen Überblick über den Heilig vom Leben, was mit seinem Gewinn, sein Logisch steht zusammen in der Schiebe, in dem Sman von den Juden, dem Mittel- und später Juden. Und wir haben zusammen gegeben, die Zähler, die wir benutzen, wir reden. Begashmis neunt, Beruchnis, die probiert, die Horowet und mit uns geführt, zu werden neunt und nennt er. Das Mama ist sehr schwer zu ausdrücken, sicher nicht in den Rahmen von ein paar Minuten. Von der anderen Seite ist es sehr schwer zu absorgen als Abakosche. Wir müssen euch bloß nehmen den Moment und teilen sich mit euch. Wir haben in einer Welt, zwischen, sei in, in Gaschmüse und Leben von der Jugend bis der Eltern und sei ruhig nichts. Aber von das ist der Kutte, was hat bei mir geblieben, mein Gekürz, und ich will es auch schön, und ich will uns auch das jetzt mit euch. Also, wie ihr wisst, ist die Mesche von Jörg kommt vor der Jahre Kalle, und es kommen auch zusammen die Gdeli, Nigle, Chsidis, von allen Schichten zu oprichten, dem Jörgzeit, der Jelule, von Kweder, Rava, Goyen, Rava, Tzadik, Rablevi, dem Rebens Vater, wenn man mir alle kommen, als ich hier, und wenn man die Welt hat so stark abgeschätzt. Wir melden, wir haben dem Schuss, hat der Rebbet Maskim gewinnt, auf dem Menü von der Jahre Kalle, und Maskim gewinnt, wurde so werden abgerichtet, und von Sirches hat dem, was er gesagt, bekäscher zu dem. Ich habe nur Theon gesagt, am Moment, was er denkt, is wertvoll zu Theon Sachen verzeichnen. Noch der Jahre Kalle flogen die alle mit Stadtfilm, die Öhrchen, gebeten werden zu verzeichnen und verschreiben. Die Minie wurde ihm gesagt, die Dämme so das kennen Theon Sachen mit der Breiterwelt und von dem ist geworden, ist herausgekommen, die Käfzim mögen die Rochen. Nu, Rabbi Sol is er gewend naar Rosh Hashiva en met alle, daar is er gewend van de hebt met stad van de jaren kouden. En ik heb hem voorgelegd en gebeten, also toestaan, was er de kopie van dem, was er gered gedeemd, zoals ik kan er rein nemen. Ah, was, ik heb gar niet gedacht, dat is die oude zaken wist. Ik weet niet, daar weet ik meer, wint ik op, dat is niet zo, even gegeven. Aber von der Zeugung habe ich gewusst, mit was wir können nehmen. Und das ist gewöhnt, ich habe meine Bursche getan. Der Rabbi Tom Naches. Mehr wie das hat mir so viel, wenn ich darf sagen. Das ist ja Sache, was der Rabbi will. Dann habe ich ein Allah Hagbolis. Nicht nur der Hagbolis von jeder Hörer, der Hagbolis von jeder Tief. Echt. Nicht so. Stauen Sachen, Jachsen sagt, das ist ein, aber er hat auch getroffen mit Kabosse und hat sich mal Stadt gemacht. Einmal in die Gelegenheiten hat er gebüht sein Pilpel, hat er gesagt sein Pilpel, hat er gebüht, gesagt sein Pilpel, auf eine Sache, was wird gebracht in Tübis Zimmer zu weg. Und er hat so, darf ich doch eigentlich nicht sagen, als er hat geschrieben, hat gesagt, die Kitzel, mit der hat verrichten ein bisschen, ob sie gewinnen, was zu verrichten, was zu hören, was zu lernen. Er bringt mir dem Xav, 
Und ich habe mich reingeben, dass in der Marech ist, dass wir ausgeben, wir schnell sind, wir wenden zu viel Zeit. Ich habe mich bedankt, und er hat mit der Schmeichel angenommen, dem Dank von der Onapatsch, und sie gehen weiter. Der Mal, er lebt. Ich habe gesagt, dass ich nicht kein Leben habe. Ich bin ein Lebendiger, aber nicht kein Leben. Ein Leben ist einer, was er ist da, und er will sein, und er geht anders. Er hat nicht so was. Aber ich habe gesagt, so was ist schön. Wir sind doch hier mit Geld zwischen sich, aber wir so, was auch immer so. Was ist geschehen? Äh, äh, darfst du mir geben zurück, was ich dir verschrieben? Was ist? Was ist gerade heute? Der Pilpe, was ist geschrieben? Äh, nein, 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 aber darf ich schon zurück. Was? Aber ich gebe das dir zurück, ich darf etwas verrichten dort. Es hat sich auch ausgewiesen, als der gemacht hat, der Kater hat, der Keppel auf dem, ja, der Pilpe, der hat, als ich weiß, der Nohug, er geteilt von der Povert, der halbe Schule, der, der Subject, der Sach, wenn was das so geschrieben geworden, hat sich auch gespielt dort in der Geteilt. Er hat geschrieben, dass das, was sie ist, hat Ohren in, dem, in der Schule von Zemach Zedek. Was ist schwer für das? Sie hat Ohren von der Schule von Zemach Zedek, von Zemach Zedek und, und auch gute Sachen. Ich weiß nicht. Herr, ich gebe es mir zurück, ich gehe gerne zurück. Und, und er ist, äh, also er äh, also, hat doch nicht geworden, ist Paul sehr also schnell und nicht gekocht sich also schnell. Und da habe ich gesehen, dass er in, in sehr in der Gehe hat. Er hat von der, von, der, von der Drückerei. Er hat zugeschrieben, zugeschrieben ein Wort. Haore bederech efscher. Sag ich mir, was ist, was willst du? Sag du, ich gehe schreiben wegen zwei Mercedes. Was bist du? Aber es ist nicht gewesen, dass er das, das hat er uns gesagt, der, der, der Mahus, was hat er mit die Augen geredet und was er gewesen sein nennt, er hat nicht gesagt, er hat nicht gesagt, er nicht gesagt, er hat 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 nicht Abgespiegelt, was heißt Achsidische Ried, was heißt Aid, was das sie nicht beim Keim von anderen Sachen, was Mutter in Nigle und eine Idee über Bekehrs, was Mutter in Achsidische und eine Idee über Bekehrs und also weiter, jeder Sache gewinnt im Ernst. Aber auf das, was wir nun in der Ort, wie sie gewinnt, muss er benutzen unter allen Schwierigkeiten. Und auf nicht, könnte sein, die größte Sache ist gewinnen, dass ich mich habe. Die damit fragen bei sie, und sie haben ihm zu vorstellen, was wir wie durchgeguckt haben, so bei sie, was haben sie gelernt von sie, weil sie haben kaum und bekam in ihm zu entwerfen, mehr und dicke, viele dicke Sachen wegen der Gartens von seinem Meier und Kirche und so weiter. Aber das ist, was er, was ist er reingegangen und sich und ich gesagt, die gewinnen nicht nur an ihre Schumaim, an innerliche Anerkennung und Verbund mit dem Emes, wie er hat sich gewinnt. Er hat sich gewinnt von Schumachaim, er hat sich gewinnt von der anderen, er hat sich gewinnt von Chuli. Von dem anderen Schumachaim, was sie gewinnt, eine Ähnlichkeit, eine gewisse Ähnlichkeit kennt und kennt. Aber das sind die Jungen, die haben dann gewonnen Bruno und dann später da. Der Mensch, er gewann ein Schlich und die Schlich ist überstanden in seiner Rosh Hashiva. Das hat sich angehört in seiner Rosh Hashiva. Er hat sich beschuss und Schlich ist was mit dem Sack gewann. Und bei mir ist ein ganzes Mohus gewann reingelegt in der. Das ist Seif Yomov. Zum Badur, aber es ist Seif Yomov. Ich habe mit gesehen, ich bin gefahren nach Pormor, ich bin dort in Basucht in Kahn Heitz, gefahren auf Brooklyn Avenue. Und er ist gegangen, jemand zu sein Schirr, in der Hotel zu geben dem Schirr. Er hat nicht geschleppt sich, nicht gejagt sich, aber ich habe gesehen, wie er geht. Ich habe ihn nicht abstellen. Von was? Weil wenn ich stehe und mache, würde ich gerne ein Überreis in seinem sein Halach, was bei dem Moment, und äh, so, so geht es mir geht. Ich habe mein Schmutz, ich habe... Er hat das gewonnen, und da rebet ihm der Gericht. Wer ist eine Mühe zu sagen, was der Rebbe der Gericht? Aber es ist ein Geschmack, Moment, haben wir geguckt, auf einmal gesehen, haben, wie er das getan die Sachen, mit der Ehrlichkeit, mit wem er das übergeben, zu seinen Muspoim und zu seinen Tomidim. 
einfach kommen zu den Verbringenischen, wenn sie gemacht haben, wenn sie sie haben. Was wir machen, wir verbringen sie mit Mann, das Mann. Er hat sich alle Mord gekommen. Er hat gewinnt, Scheich zu gehen, zu dem Deus, zu dem Eben, nun, wir haben Scheich zu singen. Aber, das ist ein Gesang im Feuer. Kommen und sagen, wir werden aufgehen, aufgegangen. Aufgegangen nicht mit dem Kabbalah, und das. Mit der Cheshek. Seine Cheshek von der Samen Sach. Dem Rebbe Sainin. Und der Rebbe Sainin ist auf einem und geben ein Dresel innerlich. So er sagt, der Rebbe Sol, das ist eine Sache, was hat sich mir gewollt, eine lange Zeit zu teilen mit anderen. Ich habe sie in der Mitte. Er verbringt wegen der Rebbe Sol, mit der Rebbe, nicht mit dem, das habe ich gerne gesehen. Aber mit dem, das waren Sachen, was sie sehr teuer sind. Und Taira mir so das übergeben, wie Saft zu sein, und ich schreibe ab. Da darf ich dir helfen. Er ist sicher, ich weiß nicht, ich kenne schon keine Sachen nicht. Dort, und dort ist er sicher, besser zu reden, und besser ist er mit mir dort, da darf ich dir helfen, als seine Taumidim, seine Chavere. Wir werden, werden, werden da geteilt sich mit dem, sein Sein dort bei Omaze. Und die Taumiden, wo sie eine Muschbe von dem, wo sie davon sein, noch Muschbe von dem jetzt, sollen sie mit Sliach sein. Und in der Weg, das ist der beste Unding und der beste Schuss für ihn, und so sein, ein Melitzjäscher, und so also in der, in der Bakosche Nafschis, von alle von seinen Do und alle von dort, Bakosche Nafschis, als so sein, das Galus, das Galus, und der wie es Moschiach zu Tkenu bekommen Mamisch mit einem Emes. Wie es Moschiach zu Tkenu bekommen Mamisch und mit so der Griechen, Milo Hakavone, wo es mir seine Reue kommen da her und wir haben dem Schuss gehabt, so haben wir Scheiches und haben jetzt das Scheiches und Rechnen. in Newark. Das ist die Schiffe, die später rüber gehen zu Morristown. Ich habe stark gewollt gehen lernen in die Schiffe. Ich habe nicht gewollt gehen in Bedford. Ich habe sie getroffen mit Rabbi Sol. Er hat mich verhört. Auf dem hat sich gelernt in der Zuschauer. Und er hat mir gesagt, noch schade es, wenn alle kommen zu Form in New York, kommen sie zu Form und dort ein Teil sein müssen. Der Menal ist jemand gewesen in New York, der Mensch Hersen. Das ist ein Geschäft und das ist ein Gesund und ein Lange Jahr. Er hat mir nicht geschickt zu reden mit der Mädchen. Er hat mir allein verhört und allein gesagt, komm zu vor und all seine Seelen. Aber ich habe sie getan. Heute kommen in Newark, trefft mir ein Mädchen, ist er gewesen sehr upset. An einem Tal mit Ornamen darf er mir Ascher sein. Der Rosh Hashiva kann nicht allein nehmen, Tal mit dem Ornamen nicht schieben. 
is er gewend opzet. Ze geeft zo te zeggen, zeg ik zelf maar leeg, meer dan der en der. Ze zegt er meer, du bist niet aangenomen in de Schiffe. Bij mij kennen ze gelijk van ons in New York met de meeste bos was voor de bij. Versteht sich, wie er im Gewinn abseht. Hat Zugang zu einem Soll. Kommt der Ziel der Meise. Einfach, dass mir je, ich weiß, als er will gar nicht annehmen. Wir fragen, du bist noch jung. Er ist schon jünger, jünger ein bisschen wie die anderen Kinder, äh, Kinder von Klass. Will er nicht. Aber ich will ja und du wirst da reingehen. Ah, ja, sag dir, dann nimm den nicht an. Jetzt kommt zu mir rein und es steht ihn bei mir. Und ich lege es bleiben in den Stub. Bis er wird Masken sein, ohne mit dir, wenn ich nicht komme mit dir in die Schiene. Für Kaffee habe ich. Ich gehe jetzt in den Stub, bei ihm gegessen, bei ihm geschlafen. Und in der Früh sagt er mir, es ist ein altes Messuder, ich kann kommen mit mir in die Schiene. Und von jemandem bin er gewesen, als er Tal mit. Wenn er nicht eingestanden auf dem, wollte er gedacht gehen in Bedford. Und dort ist nicht der Saar, Rama wie Morris, wie Newark. Wenn er will, hat er sich eine starke Spur, was er hat mir eingestanden, eingestanden auf dem als wir sollen, ihr soll angenommen werden in die Schiffe in Newark. Ich habe gelernt, gelernt bei ihm ein Jahr, Tovshin Hofdalet. Ich habe gewöhnt meine Schiffe in den Early Hofs in Newark. Und ich habe gewöhnt noch ein Bocher, noch ein paar Kassen. Und mein Spiel ist gewöhnt, ich habe mich schon erst noch zu lernen gelernt. Und äh, ich denke, das ist ein gewesen, ein Spiel exzellent. Wir verbringen mit uns alle mal und dann ist es Nacht, wir müssen verbringen, wir müssen sehen, wir gehen. Und das Rolle, die ist zu beide leben, sleep in one room on the third floor, if the people that were ever in Mars, now, if they're, I mean in, in Newark, if they remember, on Grumman Avenue. So das Rolle ist zu schleppen zum Bochum, zu kommen zu ihm, instead of verbringen, they should learn with him, schaffen sie meisten. Without giving names, some of us went to the Sroll Schmeitzer, and most of us were for bringing with, with, with Reb Meisha. And uh, he was Rosh Hashiva, both of them were Bochrim. And uh, the, the official Rosh Hashiva used to come once a week or once in two weeks, was the Mayor Greenberg, all of us showed him. Mayor Greenberg was a big gun. He was one of the best Talmudim from Tereva Das. And we saw Jacobs and Mola Sholem was a Makarim to Lubavitch, and they ended up in Natsvotsk and they came for the war. Agan Sapashim with them. And he was the chief rabbi of Patterson, New Jersey at that time. So it wasn't far away from Newark, so he used to come and give us a share once in two weeks. So Israel used to tell me, and the mayor used to tell me, that the only one that really listened to the shir and understood the shir was Rabbi Israel. So Israel used to tell me, I used to love Meir's shir because Meir was a goan, he was, he was a very tiff shir. Israel was his best Talmud those days. Anyways, uh, he ended up living across the street from my house in Montgomery Street. So I had different opportunities uh, to see him in different situations. And I remember that Many nights, where there was Shabbos and the other nights I went to sleep one or two o'clock at night. His lamp, if people know his house, I've been to his house, he had a little lamp in the front that you can see the light on the outside. Whenever you pass that house, that lamp was out. I don't know, by the time I went to sleep, maybe two, three o'clock, it was still on. But six o'clock in the morning, he was always up, always learned the Maimach Siddhas, then went to the Mikvah, that was his Seder. And then went to shul. That was a seder every morning. And in shul, interestingly, he never stopped. In the, the earlier years, he used to daven Ba'adichas himself. Late last, last years, he davened with the minion. But never did he start davening until he finished Shir Tanya. And the Shir Tanya was always not a minute. He learned the Shir Tanya. Chasidei, Anash, and Talmidim 
am verloren, am Waldeke, am Weide gedeule, am Sach Siedische Jid und am Balnigle, und ich weiß nicht, was er gewinnt mehr, am Balnigle, sehr Chassidische Jid, aber er gewinnt ein ganzen Chassidische Jid und er gewinnt sehr getrei zu den Talmiden und hat da reingegeben am Möwe der Kechais in Lenin und haben so verstehen, was man redet, man so verstehen, hat Teuswiss, verstehen, hat Riechen. Der Koch, der Chais, was er hat reingegeben zu den Talmiden, ist das le Deure Deures. He also, uh, he was very freilich, so uh, he could take a stick and whack a bacha who came late or something like that. He could give him a whack. Or if he was talking in the middle of Seder, the whack was with love that he was smiling while he was giving it. It's not chas v'sholem. He was letting out his, it was with a geschmack. But he's not going to let you go, uh, get away with it. So this kind of whack was a, a everybody felt that this was a, a tear of whack. This is not a whack like uh, somebody who was, had a, he didn't sleep at night good, so he's letting it out to the Talmud. This was with a love. But what are you doing you, you, late? Or if you had a fabreg the night before, that was not an excuse by him. So if he came late, he says, what kind of coming late? You have to come to Seder. So this is one of the memories. He was always with a freilichkeit, with a kirov, but at the same time, you're not going to get away and uh, not get away with anything. So this was his, he was a dynamo. Pashat. Ich bin gekommen lernen in New York, Rabbi Israel, ich bin der Rosh Hashiva. Ich muss sagen, als äh, ich gelernt habe, ich habe eine Jahre eine schwere Messechte. Und Rabbi Israel mit seinen Schuhen haben mir reingegeben, ein größter Chaiz und Geschmack in Lernen, seine Schuhen, der Chalimut. Und er gewann sehr übergeben und er war sehr freundlich zu allen. Sehr freundlich. A good stem, like the Eich Miss Mam Miss Mam Fabrengen, the item to go face, and it's like Mamish like Fabrengen as we are Molok Exidem. I did in a ganze Nacht, I think I'm all as a Tabracht in the state in Tanya, Shalila Arif, Shalila Arif, Simchas and Nefesh, and it's all my goof. I let me vary again, it's my Mamish, and then Schmacke Fabrengen, and the Eile Mamish, and Tufke Tampo, Lassi, and Baal Bachem. Ich denke mal, wir sind zurückgefahren, wir sind gefahren, wir haben den Bus zurückgefahren, wir sind gefahren, wir sind gefahren, wir sind gefahren, wir sind zurückgefahren mit dem Bus in New York. Ich denke, ich punkte mal, wenn ich gesessen habe, das Leben in dem Bus, er punkte mir, ich habe wieder den Bus, und sie werden noch ein Gräs verbringen, wir stammen hier schwarz, und wir gesessen haben, wir haben gesessen, wir haben gesessen, ich denke, wir ganz verbringen, und es war sehr, sehr geschmackt. Das ist gewesen, ich habe Gimmel. Später, in, in alle Teile, ich bin gekommen, ich habe schon ein Lamm mit Beis. Ich bin dort gewesen, ein Hemmschiff von, 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 sehr nannt mit ihm. Ich habe ständig bei Jacke gewesen, seine Übergebenheit zu den Bochwem. Ich kann sagen, es ist kein Mensch gewesen, was er vielleicht sitzt und allein. Dann hat er gesagt, das Mann kommt, vielleicht er lernt mit Chavrust. Scheiß, scheiß noch ein Hand. Ein gutes Mann, wenn er vielleicht marschiert. Aber er wird ständig werden, mit Chavrus, dass er reingeben, sehr ein Geschmack und ein Derech, ein Limit und so weiter. Äh, ich denke, in den de, de ersten Jahren, in den Lamen, es wird sein, ein Sache, ein Sifis, ein Fülle in den Mems. Ein Sifis von den Hollis, ich werde nicht mehr schauen, alle mal schauen. Ihr Bödel, Chaim Tevim, Herr Rebbe, Jesus, Chaim, Achein. Und der Freie Bekarski, an die Akotten, der Bistroff versteht sich, und der Pinja, der Römer vorschlägt. Der Bistroff wird ständig mannen, 
אני אשיב את דף זין, אז זה מסיג בן המור, נו נו בביץ, את הוקעת דיאל עניונים בסנגיית כנאות פרטידים, או דרפיר לדעת נינלוד, מתוך שלמי חיים, תוסי שטנדק בן זין, זין, אין דה סיפס, אז מזור זין, ישיב ואומר דף זין, פונקט הזה מסיג בן המור. Once Rabbi Yisrael came on Thursday night and he said, okay, we're learning Grif today. The guys were looking at him, what is this learning Grif? And he was being medayik, line by line, word for word in the Grif, not only how he took out the halacha from the Zikmara, but learning it as, as the Amik were taking out from every line of the Grif. Because this was his style that he taught us when we were young boys, We were in Newark about Chafei and Chavot. He taught us how to learn, how to use your head. Even though we're, there was a Balikishan there, Mitzionim there, but he taught us a new way, opened up a new avenue, how to understand a Gemara, how to understand the Rashi, and really not only understand the Gemara Rashi, everything that he took, he showed that you're not properly thinking and you're not internalizing, you're not using your head really to understand what it says. After we prepared the shir, after we prepared the Gemara and Rashi, coming to the shir, you see it's a new Gemara, it's a new Rashi, it's a new Taismas, because he taught how to use your head and how to learn. This was Sai Nigle and everywhere. Sai is chayis about it. And then when we worked together, we worked together with him, Baruch Hashem, over Mirzalayim Gyor, over 40 years. So in everything, every while we came to speak about things, I remember one time coming in the morning, like 11.30, and coming, being medayik, and asking a question in a lotion of the Alter Rebbe Tanya. Yeah, this, uh, he's a yid that is, uh, he's learning, he's preparing for Shurim and Gimare, and Paski, and Rambam, and here he's coming because everything that he learned, everything that he took in his hand, he brought a different aimic, a different dimension, and this is what he lived with it. It's not only a style of learning, this was his life. how to bring out and how to be mechanech, bachrim, older bachrim, younger bachrim, how to not only to learn and to find out more information, how to use your head and how to understand what it says, how to understand what it says. And the Ebishtiz will help him, that is a sign of good or better for the yeshiva, for the teire, m'sgei m'chai l'choyel, and to bring up the Rebbe's Talmidim, the Rebbe's Kinder, they should be emes echayolim, emes echsoldatim, And so does Hashem. And this is the way the Rebbe taught us how the Rebbe taught to learn Rashi. How the Rebbe taught to look at it, look at every word, look at it not only face value, looking in a deeper sense. The scene of his Shiurim is given by the Rebbe Klal. Now, when I ask you, make it clear, say, you say, this is not a good thing. But the is from the Yuki, but it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. בעיקר דיוק עם רש"י, פסחות שאריס מסביר זה ויעשה את זה יד הגימורה. הותר עם דם דיוקים, וזה זה נן דף ממעיין זה נן זה, ובגלל זה יפלקטר שטרקה אומרנו, ונפילו לאו דף כי אללה מוקומן מיתה מסקונה מיתה ביו. פלקטר עשה כמו בלי ומשוור, או בדוסות יגדל דם. תלמיד, דם יסוד, אף צפשתי זה גרונטיק, דיסוגי מטרשי ונטייספס, ושפט אפשתי נספרנים דם דיוקים, וספשתי תורנית. אבל שטר קרום רד מבוסיס דרך פשט וויה זה יסודי דיוקים, זוג נפס ומדף זפשתיהם. בלאו אוף פרופט עקום מגב מביר, ונאף פרופט בלייד משוור. Es ist ein ganzer Lernen, die nicht gewesen, als ich war, ich schiebe, was darf zu Gret Naschir. Gret hat zu freier Stub, die Kasches mit den Tiruzim und kommt und geht der ganze Maroche. Der Schiff legt sein, als ich er lernt jetzt. Er puft versteht. Und ich habe es versteht, ich bin die Jugendretter, was ist die Sot von dir geworden und was ich nicht verstanden habe. Bei mir ist ein ganzer Zugang, die nicht gewesen, als ich war, ich schiebe. Er hat jemand verschrieben seine Schiuren mit seinen Jüngern. Wir vertreten mit der Wegen der Wegen. Was soll ich zu sagen? Ich verstehe nicht, sag ich. Er hat 
כמו משתי יחס צוס, זה תלמידים, אז כמו נש גוורד הזה מלמיל או למטו, אז ער דור שישי ואומר קדם שיר. איפה דוח חדן? או בתי יחס גיבלי מזיבי. שווה בשווה. אם אתה יודעת איפה עברית בגובה העיניים. אז הביא צבי מן שרת. ‫און חודש עיר בניש גוון הפזיף, ‫און זין בשיעור ומשפט הדיקיון, ‫או בזין רן צומיר הזיך ‫גוון הפזלאות מאיפה. ‫-one story, ‫which stands out, ‫חזורה, ‫when the Rebbe would fabreng, ‫there was obviously, ‫right afterwards, ‫we would stay for חזורה, ‫in the winter, ‫סבוסן, it was at night, ‫מוצי שבס, ‫but here it was right after the fabreng ‫most of the times, ‫no matter what time the fabreng ended. And it was the Simchas Beis HaSheva, probably Tovshin Chov Dalet, which was the last year that they had those Fabrengans. Maybe Chov Gimel. In the sukkah there on the right side of 770. In the back there, it's there were a couple hundred people maybe, and Rabbi Yoel sits in the middle, the Shlita, and everyone was, was, sat around. It was before he had his team, officially. And every... minute or so, every 60 or 90 seconds, Rabbi Yisrael Friedman would interject and he would add something, a point, you know, maybe a little nuance, the word that the Rebbe used was slightly different, whatever it was, he would correct something or add something to what was being said. And I was then sitting by the Chazor, right next to Rabbi Pinyakov, and I commented to him, just I whispered to him, I said, you know, it looks like he saw Friedman should be the Choyze. So he said to me, if he were the Choyze and the Abuel were interjecting, then he would interject every 15 seconds or every 20 seconds. So he's saying that the Abuel is the one that is the Choyze. That's not the point. The point is that Yisrael Friedman was someone who had, who understood, who remembered, and was a daikon who had all of these things very clearly and very uh, sharply there. A minute. I don't understand what will the Alter Rebbe with the Nafal Pique. Wait a minute. He came that time. It was the first time that he came to Alitera to prove Alitera as, as a school of higher learning. And he said that, that, that our Rashi Shiva, Rabbi, Rabbi Friedman, could co compare himself to all Litva Shagainim and even more. And also, we had Rabbi Steinvassel. We had many, many Gedalim coming inside to give us an approval. Every, every few years, we had to have an approval. And, and Baruch Hashem, we came out taps and taps and taps to, because, because we had Rabbi Saul, which Rabbi Saul was a going Eilam, a going Eilam. And I can tell you personally from my experience. Now today was Dr. Tanya, and he gave to the Abba of the Abba of Hashem of Tzadikim, that the Abba of Gedol of Hashem, the Abba of Gedol of Sinai of Amius, the Sitra Achim. The soul of Gwen Bavuz was in Sharfkeit, as you can't, mal up machnazach, when he was margish or he smelt any tnu of Nadenzich or Blaferai, Ziof, there's Ogamacht in an extreme way. But the soul of Zach, no murder from when he was margish a tnu amitis by a bocher or by his chaverim, he used to be mshabeachit and a saris brig and a farzan, even years later. You would mention of some kudah was a tamogazan and kudah amitis by a bocher or by a, a chaver that he had. One of the yidin that Rabbi Yisrael was very fond of, worked with him many years in Alotayra, was Rabbi Walberg, Rosh Yeshiva of Yeshiva Stevatim Mikvar Chabad. I remember once after Rabbi Walberg gave a speech, I think it was one of the kinnas kinnas atmimim, and Rabbi Yisrael told me after as a as a as a good the keiches in the bab, as a star the keiches, and he was being shabeachim. We'd have the cover to hear at the Chaverter from the Rav Reb Yaakov Yishev, Reb Yaakov Mishev Volberg, the Rosh Hashiva of Karchabat. It's very difficult to, to say words. I mean, certainly it's appropriate to say something for 
Yisrael, the honor of Yisrael. But on the other end, it's very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult. You know, it's hard, you know, to, to, to imagine Rabbi Yisrael, you know, hearing that someone's talking about him and like him asking the question, Vasat min gizok punkt? And maybe making some type of a comment, you know, either, you know, dasidos or chvezvas, you know, some, some type of a comment which would be, you know, characteristic of Rabbi Sro. I want to say over a vort that I remember hearing from him, a fabrengen, this was a yuteskisli fabrengen in Olitera, and Rabbi Sro was fabrengen, could be, we were learning Bab Metziah that year, I don't remember. And he was fabrengen about Rabbiya, Rabbiya says, Mono lebiyotcha, is So bringing a long time about the Indian that when a person in Avedis Hashem, a person always has to feel himself chayef, that he owes, that he owes. And the person says, hey, look, not says, what do you want from me? You want I should say chitas? Here, I'll say chitas. You want I should learn Rambam? I'll learn Rambam. But not you know, here the Abish to tell the Abish another whatever what you want from me I'll give you, and uh, the rest of it I want I want to keep for myself I want to be myself. Hareze keferakil does he shena keferakil? Person has to the hair the said of a being a being a chosid being a yid is that the person has to feel that he's a chayef. Is that he's a chayef? And then the fichoch he says the Avram the Yitzchok the Yankiv. Is lefichach? What's lefichach? Lefichach anachnu miuchosim. Nei, lefichach anachnu chayovim. This has to the air the chayovim. That was the the the, the, the whole nekud of the fabring was that a person has to the air that it's not the pshat mit ogiton who meilat mishiyet zigeva. No, lefichach anachnu chayovim. A person has to always feel himself chayiv. He has he owes, he owes, he owes the eibushter. He has to do more. He has to do more. The Rambam says that would probably be, if you want to categorize Rabbi Yisroel, he was never there was never a satisfaction. You know, he had a shaila and Rashi. You know, everyone remembers Rabbi Yisroel. He asked me about some nuance and Rashi, about Vort, and you would see a teretz and you'd see a teretz and this mefedish and that mefedish. Rabbi Yisroel again, he has the kaships. He, he he wasn't satisfied. He wasn't satisfied. He wasn't. He was. He was always looking, looking more to understand more to understand more. You know, a lot of times, you know, it was hard to get past the kasha because he nachamol the kasha, nachamol the kasha, because the kasha bothered him. He asked the kasha, nachamol the kasha. He answered the teretz, and then nachamol the kasha. And that was also in life, in life also, in Avedas Hashem. You know, there were certain, there's certain people, you know, that, that there's a certain, you know, system, and, 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 and if they fit through the system, so they seem to be satisfied. They have a kasha, they have a teretz, the teretz according to this shita, this shita, they have a teretz, and the teretz is a teretz. But Rabbi Yisrael, it was hard to find a teretz. If he, had a, if he had a kasha, it was hard to find a teretz. The teretz that he should be satisfied wasn't poshut. If you understood the kasha, it was also good. To understand the kasha, to appreciate the kasha. And al there is in Avedas Hashem, in Avedas Hashem, and being, you know, it was always... So it's a gemont merer. So it's a gemont merer. There's the, their knech, which was a knech, which is sometimes not so easily. It's not so easily to define. It's not so it's mukuda. That would I would I would say would be the hagdara of Yisrael. It was uh, I'm not talking about his Yerushalayim, David. Things were it was different. It was it was very different. It was it was very different. But the mukuda of what he meant from the bachrim, what he meant from himself. That you shouldn't be satisfied with just the the the, the ablufik, uh, you know, doing the right thing, being a good boy. You have to be a good boy, but you have to be a good boy durch and durch. And that's what I would say. Rabbi Yisrael uh, represented. And that's what Rabbi Yisrael taught. Now that is that when he learned with Bachrim, taught him how to ask a kasha to, to delve into deeper and not be satisfied with the. I don't think uh that's it. Uh that's it.
um so sich alle sind zusammen. Im Gewinn, ein Tau mit, war ein bisschen in alle Teile drei Jahre. Wir lernen drei Messichtes, Messichte Psachim, Messichte Gdushen und Messichte Bob Metzir. Über so ein Wort, was gehört von ihm, in Schneim Eichsinn in Bob Metzir. Und dort bringt die Gemäuer es dort dienen, als er mit seinem Begarischen Ischer. Und man legt er ein, dem Gett, bei Chazere, ist der Wort, wer zu ihm begrüßt. Und darum bringt die Gemäuer, als er dort zwei Sporen ist, Chazer bischum Jode ist Raboi, Oder bischum Schlichus ist Raboi. Das heißt, bischum Jode ist Raboi, wie bald die Posse steht. Und die Kassel von der Sefer Christus von uns bei Jode. Ist Jode meint, dass er hat Rechusso, und wir melden, wenn er legt er ein, dem Gett bei Chazer, in der Schöne von uns bei Jode, und sie begrüßt. Das heißt, Wort, ein zweites Wort ist Chazer bischum Schlichus ist Raboi. Aber wie bald der Fossig im Fossig steht, wie Schilch und wie Beiso, die da Lasche von Schiluach, es geschehen wie um und um Hälfte am Beziehens schon Schlichus, ist er hat gezeigt, ob wer der hat Schluche. Und der Pfarrer legt er rein, dem Geld, bei Gezeigt ist immer gut erschüttert. Es hat drauf, die Dolle Heer erscheint, was heißt, er schlägt auf seine Bedas. Und der muss passt, der soll sein als Schlier. Wie passt das als Amitzies, als ein Chotzer, so werden als Schlier? Jodo, Chotzer, wie schon Jodo ist, Rabo, ich verstehe. Jodo ist das Rechusser, aber wie wird das als Chotzer mit dem Mund als Schlier, Herr Bechlau, an dem er nicht gemeint hat? Hat er immer gesagt, dass er da schiebt, um ein Kubetz ist. Was sagt, als ein Chotzer, wie bald er hat, nicht genügend um das, ist er Schlier, wo er mit ihm war, als Schlier. Das ist der Rebbe Schlich. Er hat gar nicht die Beziehung vor sich. Die Bemeldung ist er der Schlich am Mitte und der Schlich am Atzmi, der die Bemeldung in der Gett hält. Das ist ein Wort, das gehört, als wir schreiben von dem in Nigel. Der Bissroll hat kaum ein paar Mal das Mal das Mal zu verbringen. Verbracht mit uns am Purim. Ich habe gesagt, ein Wort, ein Teich von Friedrich Rebbe, Chai Wandem, Chai Wienisch Lipsum je bepurje und der Friedrich Rebbe geteilt Chai Wienisch und der Mensch ist Chai wie die Eizabdruf Lipsum je bepurje also sich verschickern in Krishna Shalamite Purje das echt will aus Mitte in der Zeit Lipsum je bepurje sich verschickern in Krishna Shalamite und die später die Kiyor schon wie sie kommen seit ich werde gearbeitet in die Schiebe Das Rabbi Srof wird das Sach verbringen in das Kissel und gesetzen, Mama ist ganz in der Nacht. Es ist eine von den Sachen, was er gedenkt, was er zu sehen gekocht hat, und ich besorge die, die Geres, vor allem nicht mehr sehen, was es steht, dass in das Kissel, Eben wird heißen, auf Schäne nicht nur Lono, hat er geteilt, dass er Eben wird heißen, auf Schäne, dass nicht nur Lono, sie mir denkt. Wir kennen das. Und ist nicht so, und wir kennen das, dass wir schon nicht so ist. Es sind tolle Biodäne, mit siebenigen Biodäne, kämen das ist nicht so, und die Boje, und wir meinen, dass das jeder sein muss, ist nicht so, weil sie Biodäne an der Welt toll sind. Ich habe sie gewählt, sehr, ein Leben, die Kirit, die Kochs, die Lernen, die Nikola, die Nixidis, ich habe das Alte, die Sachen gefunden, dass es eine Schiebe so hat, aber ich habe das Geschmack, Und I call Chichsidus in Davne, in Chichsidushkeit. As I remember, as a little boy, in the 60s, in the late 60s, my parents, Olam HaShalom, uh, uh, lived right next to 770. Rabbi Saul Friedman, I always saw him around the 770. I knew that he's a great gun and Lamdin, but he needed a place to stay for Shabbos and Vokhe, but Shabbos and Rebbe for Braves, he always used to come to my parents' house. And see the great respect which my father, Olav Sholem, had for him, like a gun, a shiva. My father was about 30 years older than him, but he, he, his attitude towards him was like he was a, like an older chassid. They gave him so much respect. And Rebbe Sol, every Friday night when he used to stay 
and Kralich for bringing to us, us little children, despite the fact that he was a great Gon, a great Lamdin, he was a great Chassid, he was very unassuming, did not make a big deal of himself. I remember he used to sleep on the couch in the living room. And he used to talk to us about simple things. The result is an enigma combining two opposites. From one side, he was up from his head and shoulder above everyone. On the other hand, he related to everyone, like a friend, like a uh, like a mutual, uh, like he knows you, like an acquaintance. I remember years later when I was in the yeshiva of Oltele, and the yeshiva decided to expand in 1969 Toshikov a additional year and open a, a msifta and from msifta continuing to be smedrash. Now remember when Rabbi Saul he came to be the yeshiva and. Uh, the, together with the Bala Chayatev Maruch and Rabbi Pidyakov and I remember we were sitting a few Talmidim and when we came to Rabbi Saul we felt to his great he's such a genius and such a great Latin and God and he was talking to us simple children we were so humbled and on the other hand he was so involved with such a Valenkite despite the fact that he was such a great Talmud Chacham he lowered himself down, he learned of us. And when he said a shir, it's chazeke koch to them, his passion was so strong and so, so exciting that, you know, it was higher than time, higher than place. You know, you could, you, something that I could not believe that he, a, uh, he could speak so powerful. Despite that he was a great Talmud Chachem, he was such a warm person. I remember Pashat Kipshutin that there's a boy said, uh, yes, the uh, the Anholah said he has to take a haircut, and but he was a little bit uh, reluctant. But we saw quietly. I remember walked over to him and gave him five dollars from his own money. To uh, he realized that he didn't have any money. Or, no, or, or another case that he took off his. Uh, he said, "Here, I have a coat for you." He gave him his own coat. Or another case, it was a bacha who didn't have a, 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 a parents who were not with him, and he was lonely. He took him to his house. He brought him up like a, a child of, it, uh, uh, of his own. I remember when I, when I was a bachir, I was actually a shlichet, so I came back over here. I had at the time a, uh, I had surgery, a hernia. And uh, Rabbi Sro knew about it. I, I, was, I, I, learned, I learned from him about a, two, a year and a half early to that. He found out that I'm, that I'm actually going to uh, have surgery. I don't, remember, I don't remember exactly how he found it. But all of a sudden, I was in the hospital, Prior to surgery, I, I get from him a sefer. It was called the Get the Cleaver. A sefer is called Get the Cleaver. It's a very interesting sefer. It's a, a parsha of a in history of of, of Rabbanim. A shy little Get the Cleaver. There's a lot of the great the Daily Sirol involved in it. This the sefer is very very interesting. And he writes me a note. He wrote me a note. Uh, then in, in Hebrew, he said, "Say to it that, that the time you're there." Don't waste it. You utilize it to learn something interesting. Yeah, it's just, it'll occupy your mind and occupy your, your, your thoughts. And it will elevate you to be able to uh, pass the time in a, in a real way. But it was amazing how he came to me to say, I didn't, it just all of a sudden, I came to the hospital and somehow I got the safe with a note on it and he writes to me, and he still writes to me. Then this is the sight of a of, of, uh, taking because of uh, taking laser. It wasn't. It wasn't that you come back and it was the the that, that, that you, your time you're there, make it make something of it. Make something of it. Don't don't waste your, your life. Don't waste your when you learn something, really learn it. Let it affect you for real. Let it affect you your mind to, to, to understand what's the real the real thing of it. Every part of it is the same the same Nakuda that I find. There is an ish that was negating is an ish pinimi, was negate to him. That what you, the way you relate to him, what he related, what he related to you, was in a pessimistic way, in a real way. I used to see him in his house, sitting until alone, ten o'clock at night. I used to have him a few times a week. He would learn at least till four o'clock in the morning, and sometimes till six o'clock in the morning. When he asked me one time, why do you have to do it for so long? He said, it takes me two, three hours to get into the learning. Once you get in, then you have to start learning. You have to learn for a few hours. And the idea what I'm saying is that Goen, I meant to say he was a Ish, that his Ge'enes was more in, very refined. I would say Ish a Chochme more than the Bine. 
to get the light of the idea and that's what he would tell till he gets to that. Rav Shen Lamed Beis, in Onfang von Dior, from Given 1770, and he was <laughs> going to go to the house. He was 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 going to go to the דמו את גזען ואיריז מדייק, אין יד נבורט, אין יד דוס, אין פשט, אין פשט, אין שכן... מותקה לרנן, ומפרשטיין, ומדף, ניש נארן זיכן מפרשטייט. ודוס הגבן א' עוס כנן ממש, וורד בוורד, דיוקים אין יד נ... ונביר הגבן הזה ועוד כוח צחין לרנן. יד נקשיה, יד נבורט גבן בהם נגיע, נוחמול, נוחמול. אמות הגירת וגן, המקדש במיל ואין המקודש. גזרה שהיא זאת, מיל ולעיצו ניתנו, הוא נראות איר גונש גיגם, נשיא נשכן. או תרגי זאת, אז לא התרשי, דה חיוב, צובת סול נעל ווה, שיא נשכן חיוב מומן, סינור מצד עם מצווה. ורשי ברק דין כסו בספי ווב, פרי אז בעל חייב מצווה. אז עבר עוד סוג גזעות, עבר צאן צוריק, שיהיה הין של חוד צדק ולאו של חוד צדק, ועוד גזעות עד ובסון דף סוד צאן. שיא נשכן חיוב מומן, סינור מקיים זין דבורוב. אבל מיל ולעיצו ניתנה. סינש כן גזל. נראה שהיא הולכת עם בוב המציא, חובוב, המועצץ המציא, איז אברות גינו מלכתחילה על מנת להחזירו. ומשפטר בשלוש נצולוזנס בזיך, זאת ראה שסינש כן גזלן. זה חיוב צורי גאה גזל איז נור ון ואיגזלס החניס מיד המצרי, או בדו בשעס מאי סינש גיטון די פעולה פון די גניבה, אידו סינש כן גזל. מילא על בואה איז נור המצווה, פרי אז בעל חויב מצווה. תגיד זאת, בגלל תכת רבנו גרשם, אז זאת תכת, אז נשתוק אין חיוב. מי ובעל פה נשתוק אין חיוב, צו בצון חיוב מומן. איז נור האין יפון המצווה. כי מקום מדוי מונטריאול, טוב של למדי, גלרנד גיטין דמות, בגפון צו ניו יורק, בין נחתו בגיטופן רבי ישראל ניסיון סמנטי, ונגפרד בהם אז רש"י זוגט, אין גיטין למדבו ועמוד בייז. דגמור את דגן פרוזבול, אחרי דגמור מי כמידה דמידי רייסה לא משם תושוויס ותיקנו רבונו די שמת. זו, די כן חפוכו ממחי הנתקון, זה לא נשצון די אלבוי. זאת רש"י ואבי עליה לא יבא גזלון על פיהם. יש לו צורי גמד די אלבוי, ברגית ניש זה עושה גזיילה. נבוא איזו רש"י. הולכים בוויזה נותן גיקוקט. אז דרבוס קנטר רבי סרואל גיקוקט זה רש"י. ואותו נגיע בן ווקרן פון 770, ביזמוט גומרי, אף קינגסטון, פון צוריק, היינו, פון צוריק, פון ארטרייט, שום סוף יותר, טוי לי גיוון, אז תקרא לזה מחלקת עם שיבוד דה רייסה, או דה לאו דה רייסה. איזה... לא עושים את המחלקת איזו דגמורה. ברוב ורון אביה, אבי לגזלן על פיהם, אז זה אלט רובה, ואז ירד שיבוד דה רייסה. שיהיה חיוב, שהוא בצון די אלבוי, שהיא מנטרת. רון אביה ועושה את הסיז... איז גיטין, דפנו למוד א' אביי את עשי איזה שיבוד אליו די רייסה, את סינור אז פי אז בעל חייב מיצה. מילא די פרוסבול, סינור את הכל נרגיש את שבע על טייסה, רגיש את צוריק דלבוי, סינש כן גזיילה. או ברביר עוד גיקוך צחין די מוזיד, די קשי בדרתם, נרגיש את ההיא, נו צוריק, די בוס גידנקתם, אז... The Ruzhner Rebbe had a, a sheikh, the, the Ruzhner Rebbe had a chosid that lived in a little town in the Ukraine. And they were uh, questioning his integrity, they were questioning the sheikh's integrity. And the Rebbe wanted to know what's going on with this uh, sheikh. So he sent uh, one of his chassidim, who was a, happened to be a balabos, just a plain balabos, and he sent him into the sheikh's home and he said, go spend a few days with the sheikh. He went to the Sheikh, he spent three, four days. The Sheikh was an Ukrainian Jew, and he had this uh, Ukrainian chassid came to him, and he uh, entertained him, he gave him beautiful food, he gave him beautiful meals, he gave him a nice uh, bed, a nice place, nice accommodations. And the uh, Ukrainian Barabbas was flabbergasted by the hospitality of Medach Nasser He came back to the Vizhna Rebbe, and the Vizhna Rebbe asked him, so what did you see in the, sh- the Sheikh's house? 
So he said that the huis is nichtig und warm. It's, uh, 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 so the illusion of Rebbe said, Ashtub, what is richtig und warm is kosher, kosher. And this is uh, what stands out, this is what the Bishlo was uh, to me uh, personally, as I'm sure this, the richtigkeit, the warmkeit, such uh, warmth, uh, such light, and uh, uh, we, uh, he, to a certain extent, I could say that he made a, 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 a tremendous impact, had a tremendous impact on my life and a major turnaround in my life. Uh, when we learned by him in, in uh, Tavshin Chavtas and Tavshin Lamed and uh, Hazel Rosh Hashiva. And uh, he, was, uh, he, he was just the, the warmth, the, the Lichtigkeit, the, besides the, uh, you know, his, his learning and his, 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 his genius and uh, his unique shiurim, uh, etc. Just uh, the personality and the warmth giving you uplifting, this is something that's uh, always very, very special. One year uh, in Yachikawa, and uh, I, I don't remember how it came out that the Bissol says, Wo is Reb Shalom Arozov? And he was like, you know, he was in his way, he's looking for him, and he was nowhere to be found. And then later, we walked up on the lawn, and he meets Reb Shalom, and says, Reb Shalom, wo seid ihr gewesen, where were you? Ah, ihr esst nicht mit dem Camp, ihr seht, verrostet euch nicht auf die Kaschers, ihr esst bei sich im Stub, ihr don't, uh, you're not eating in camp, you don't, you don't, you're not relying on the, on, 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 on the Kaschers, it's not, the, uh, it's not kosher enough for you. And then he turns around and he says to him, ich esst nicht, er geht's nicht. Ich esse nur bei sich im Stub, aber in Rebens Camp esst ihr dort und verrostet euch auf Reben. That's what he said, that I don't eat any place, but in the Rebbe's camp, I rely on the Rebbe and, 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 and the Rebbe's camp. And this is really the, uh, capturizes, I think, another uh, unique aspect of Rebbe Slow, a very, very uh, a special aspect. My memories of Rebbe Slow Friedman, the Chayinu Lebracha, go back a very long way. When he was a young Rosh Shiva in Newark, and I was just a child. I used to, I used to spend some time in Yeshiva, when we had a day off from school. And um, he was at Rosh Yeshiva. Later, when I came to Alatayra, I, I was all friend who was in Alatayra, and um, I had various uh, interactions with him. He encouraged me. One story that um, made a special impact on me, that many years later, was my son, Yechanan, who was learning in Munich, was learning in 770. And he was asked to accompany Rabbi Yisrael and Yitzh Kislev to Tavreng in Zurich, Switzerland. And uh, they traveled, I believe, overnight. They arrived in Zurich in the morning. And that evening, uh, Rabbi Yisrael Tavreng for a few hours. After the Tavreng, they came back to the house where they were staying. And they spoke for a while. And then the uh, home, the Balabas, the, the, um, the Me'areach uh, went, to, went to sleep. And Rabbi Yisrael turned to my son Yechon and he said, This was after traveling all night and after Fabreng for a few hours. It was late at night. It was Agalek by him, without a question, that Yutus Kislev gate in the And he sat with my son Yechon and Fabreng the whole night. <laughs> יותר גפקט, פשוט הטייסווס אני נורא פגיע בביז יו דלת דו זה. ואם אתה בטייסווס, טייסווס זה אין תרץ, עוד עשי צווי תירוצים. אבל יהיה דרן תרצו, אני אתפר לו ברגיעת צייץ וקוקים, כי זה נפיסקי טייסווס, אפשר מכן זורגן עשי צווי. ברגיעת צווי עשי צווי תירוצים, מול נפיסקי טייסווס. יהיה נזוכת מיר, יהיה, זה ירגוד, זה ירשן, ריכתי. ורבי שחול קוק תחמיר, קוק תחם. נוח די גנץ אזרח, גיא נזל, תרגפת די גמור, רבי סחור קוק נס, ווויזר, קוראים לך צעים, וו סוקס טוינצ'וניק, וו סוקס, וו סתם אז יכו בגנט ואתה זה, זה ירשן זוק נוח די פינסטרי בורילה, וו זה כבו זה סטוד אז וו, זה הכל פה אני בירי גיוון, דרבוס גידן, נור פשט, מון אמס, מותה כגוד סופר שטיין, באים ליש גיוון אזרח עם פון לופט, לופטי כסבורת. Und wir geben uns meinen ersten Seifer auf die Rogge zu werden. Mehr wird es nicht zurück. Und ich guckte in dem Schaar, später gefällt bei mir, sag mir, es ist scheich zu verstehen die Rogge zu werden. Es ist echt doch zu verstehen. Und das ist eine Avone, Avone, Mamisch, Avone, was so gewesen. Ich dachte, dass mir seine Talmidim, 
ביז ביז היינד גיבלים בידע אין נחמדי תלמידים, אז רש"י זוגת, טייס וזוגת, יד נבואות, יד נבואות. אפילו יחטא גם על פורן ניו יורק, היינו צוריק, ונכתרפם. יזעל למול נמטר הרש"י. עשידו ממש הזה, קודושים הייתם במחשובת. אז רש"י זוגת, אם חושב לימר, בהם איזו קדש. ווס מנט לימר. אם חושב, את גיטרח תזדי בהם איזו קדש. פה זאת רש"י, חושב לימר. זאת אומרת, גיטרח צו זוגן. ווס מנט דו רש"י. הוא נייד נבול, יד נבורט, יד נ... זורבליים באונז, דוס די חיוס אין לרנן. הוא טריין צופה שטיין, ויפל מקיין. הוא דרבי שאתה זול אלפן, וזה תלמידים. הוא מבלי מתלמידים. דוס די דרך פון. פון לובביץ', דרך פוס דה רדוויל. פוס דכן זה עצוד הגאולה, או קיצו ורנו שייח נאופור, והוא בסייכון, בעזר השם, בקורב ממש. Purim, Erev Purim, he came with Gemara Megillah. He came with Gemara Megillah. I remember it was Erev Pesach. He came without the Rebbe Shulchan Aruch, which I'm sure he knew, because we're talking about three, four years ago. We're not talking about many, many years ago. And he's learning Elchis Pesach. And I asked him, you know, to get a conversation on Rebbe Shulchan Aruch, Fah Rosh Hashanah, Gemara Rosh Hashanah, Fah Purim is Gemara Megillah, Pesach is Shulchan Aruch. I see every Yantav, see, he says to me, what do you think? Yantav is about the food and the eating. As we get there in Yantav, we may have a rain game. We may have a rain game. We may have a rain game. And it hit me so, I was so, and not that I didn't know what the Bishol, how he was, But I saw he pushed loose with Taylor. I davened in the Rebbe's room. I used to listen the way he davened Tal. He, he used to live with it. I came to Geshem, I used to stand next to him and hear the way he davened. So here are three beautiful things. I saw the Indian of Taylor, how he, wherever he went, he had a Sefer. Into any appointment that he had, he had a Sefer. Sit in the car, you say Tillman had a Sefer. We used to speak about cloud things which are important. The beautiful thing of Aveda, the way he davened, the, the words that used, the, it, the way he said the words, the way he like lived the davening. That's what kind of person he was. Uh, a person has a frishkat and a chayis in it. The more a person is doing the same thing for many years, The child was afraid to tell him, how is it shy to demand from a year that Taylor should be a kid, 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 with a frischkeit and a, and a slavus on his face, as if it was the, the first day of Yeshiva. So you'd like to introduce one of the Talmidim from the later years, also a nephew of Rabbi Yisrael. So Batelik and Zechim Punaylam, with Etlach Averter, Vegan Rabbi Yisrael, his uncle Rabbi Yisrael, and his Rosh Yeshiva. Call upon Rabbi Lazer Gurkha Vashliach in London, Ontario. Fetter Yisrael. He was a Rosh Yeshiva par excellence. If he was in the Misnag de Shevelt, he would have been considered a Godel de Yisrael. He would have been quoted all over the world. He would have been feted. He would have been honored. But he was a Lubavitcher Chassid and an Emesser Chassid. So he always flew under the radar. He'd walk down Kingston Avenue, a slight, quiet man never making any comments unless anyone came up close to him so you can talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. And he acted as if he wasn't really an important person in the community, because in his mind, he really wasn't. In his, in his mind, he was just a regular chassid of the, of the Rebbe. He happened to be a chassid who knew how to learn very, very well. 
a brilliant mind, a terrific mind. But in the end, that's not how he saw himself. He saw himself Pashat as a Chassid. He didn't know that when he gave a shir. When Rabbi Yisrael came up to the shir, he took a part of Rashi, he'd sit on the same word for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, and he was very annoyed by interruptions that didn't make sense to him. His very popular refrain, if someone asked a question that made no sense, was, Was pluidirstu? But Rabbi Yisrael, Was pluidirstu meant, why are you taking up time just so that you can hear yourself talk? If you have something significant, unique to contribute to the conversation, if you can move the pilpul forward, if you can enhance our understanding of Rashi Taisvis, then by all means, say anything you want to say. Talk, I have time for you. But if you just want to take up time in the middle of my shear because you'd like to hear yourself talk, because you think that you have something to contribute when you really don't, then vos pleaders do. He was really down to earth in that sense. He had no time to waste. He was living with Rashi. And if Rashi was talking to him, then why are you interrupting? That's the sense you got when you sat in a Bisral Shir. But then when you sat down at a Bisral's Fabrengen, it was an entirely different a Bisral. The Rashi Shiva was gone and the Chassid emerged. The Chassid arrived. The Chassid was visible in plain sight. He would sit, he would smile, he would say l'chaim all night long, and he loved to tell stories. Rabbi Yisrael was a fountain of stories, stories mostly that no one ever heard of. And the way he told the story, he had a chush in the tzelen of Siddish Rabbi Yisrael would tell a story, you can see yourself in the story. You could imagine, you can literally visualize the person he's talking about. And every single word Rabbi Yisrael said in his story was meduyik. There were no extra words. But he was so self-deprecating as he told the story. He would laugh at his own memory. But there was nothing to laugh of. Rabbi Yisrael's memory was like a trap. He remembered every single detail. And then he would take that story apart. He would analyze the story by a fabrengen. Rabbi Yisrael would take out the story and he would bring it to the table and he would show how this story can change everything the way you look at life. Rabbi Yisrael had such a chush in fabrengen. It rivaled only his chush in giving a shir and nigla. And it was the same Rabbi Yisrael, that's what made him so special. The same Rosh Yeshiva, that was Mefarek Hori Muslai, was the same Yash Rosh Yeshiva who sat unassuming by a Fabrengen, telling a story with a Bittel, with a Varenkeit. It was the same person. Because Rabbi Yisrael was a mountain of a head, but an ocean of a heart. Rabbi Yisrael had a bitl tzum rabin she'en kamayu. You'd look at Rabbi Yisrael, you would see a skate chasid. You'd look at him as he walks on the street, you'd look at him as he davens in the Rebbe's room, and by Rabbi Yisrael, time stood still. Rabbi Yisrael wasn't living when I was by him in Shir, it was the 90s. When I was a child, it was the 80s. And later, when I was a younger man, it was the 20th, the, two, the 2000s, he wasn't living in the modern world. Rabbi Yisrael was living in the world of Rashi and Taisvis. Rabbi Yisrael was living in the world of the Alta Rebbe and the Middle Rebbe. But Rabbi Yisrael was a chassid of Unzer Rebbe. Rabbi Yisrael spoke of the Rebbe like as if he was an ant in front of a god. Rabbi Yisrael was so masur v'nasun tzum Rebbe. He was a dugme chaya for what it means to be a chassid. He could have thought of himself as the Rebbe's Rosh Yeshiva, but he didn't. He thought, as, he thought of himself as a garnished. He thought of himself not as the Rebbe's soldier. He thought of himself as a garnished. He had no ego to speak of. Anytime he put you down and he had a sharp tongue and he knew how to do it well, 
He did it with an Avas Yisrael as well, but not out of an ego. Rabbi Yisrael never looked down. Rabbi Yisrael always looked deep. When you talked to Rabbi Yisrael, you felt that he was taking you apart, even as he was taking you in. Rabbi Yisrael had a heart of gold. And as an uncle, I could feel it every time I walked into his home. Rabbi Yisrael and his wife Luba, Allah HaShalom, had such an amazing relationship. She revered the Rosh Yeshiva. She made sure that everywhere he went, he was respectable. If there was a stain on his shirt, he, she made sure he doesn't walk out with that dirty shirt. But Rabbi Yisrael never could care less about what a shirt looked like. However, for his wife's covet, he didn't walk out with a dirty shirt. She was consumed with the covet of the Rosh Yeshiva, and he was consumed with her covet. I remember as a child, my Zayda, Rabbi Yankiv Yesef Gurkov, used to come with my Baba Ella, Shalina, Sonia. They used to come from London, England, where they lived, to visit the Rebbe in Crown Heights. And they would stay by their daughters, one of them, of course, being Mama Luba, Rabbi Sal's wife. So they would stay at Rabbi Sal's home, and I would come visit my Zayda in Rabbi Sal's home. To see Fetu Yisrael walking down the street with my Zayda, was to see Hoshet, a paragon of Kovit and Hadras Kovit. The way he treated his Shver was with such a Hadras Kovit and such a Varnkeit and such a Bittel to his Shver, to an Elter Chassid, the father of his wife. And he took care of him as only Rabbi Sral could. At the time, my Zayda was suffering from difficulties with the heart. Later, he would have triple bypass surgery and he would recover. But at the time, my Zayda had difficulty walking up the steps. He'd have to walk up two or three steps and then pause and catch his breath. When he'd walk home from shul, he'd have to sit down at a bench, pause and catch his breath. And the way he would catch his breath was with deep gulps and very loud moans and groans and you couldn't help but notice it as you passed by. And Veter Yisrael would stand there with my Zayda with so much respect. He wasn't self-conscious. The Rosh Yeshiva of Lubavitch is making a spectacle of himself while the Shver is groaning loudly in public. No, he walked with him with so much respect and with empathy you could see that Rabbi Yisrael cared. I would come visit and Rabbi Yisrael would treat me with Varenkeit and with Kovit, he would always ask me, Vos Ladens do? And I never got the feeling that I should be afraid of telling him what I thought. He always smiled. That was the Feta Yisro, the Rosh Yeshiva, the Chassid, the Fabrenger, the Feta, the Edim, the Man, the Husband, in every way. Many, many Bachrim were helped by Rabbi Yisro's fund. He had a fund and very quietly he would approach Bachrim and ask, you need some money for new shoes. Maybe you need a new hat. Sometimes he didn't add. He asked. He just gave you money. You need some money for some, for a suit for Pesach. Here, take it. Don't be ashamed. Many others have taken before you, and many will take after you. And very quietly, Rabbi Sral Friedman, the great Rosh Yeshiva, raised money so that his Talmidim can walk with respectable shoes. I want to close with the story that my Fetter told me when I came to be Menachem Avol at the Ptida of his wife, my Mumma Luba. He was talking about Rabbi Sral Nevler. They met in Poking. Poking was the DP camp that Lubavitchers all gathered after they escaped from Russia. Rabbi Sral Nevler, Nevler, if I'm not mistaken, was Nifter in Poking. But in Poking, young Yisrael Friedman developed a relationship with Rabbi Sral Nevler. And Rabbi Sral Nevler told him a mice. When the Friedrich Rebbe first moved to, to, to um, Petersburg, the shul where they davened was quite a walk away from the home where the Friedrich Rebbe was living. And the Friday night after davening, the Rebbe was walking home pretty much alone. Rabbi Shlom Nevler and another chassid decided that it's, it's a little bit dangerous for the Rebbe to walk alone. Plus, a Rebbe should never have to walk alone. So they decided that they were going to walk behind the Rebbe and make sure the Rebbe gets home. 
but they knew that the Friedrich Rebbe would not allow this, so they tailed the Rebbe from a distance. They walked two, three blocks behind, but the Rebbe noticed, and the Rebbe waited for them, and they had no choice, they couldn't walk away, so they approached the Friedrich Rebbe, and the Rebbe asks, Was is das? So they tell the Rebbe that they wanted to make sure that the Rebbe gets home safely. And the Rebbe replied, A Rebbe darf me nicht helfen, gefinden de Wege heim. A Rebbe can find his way home. Rabbi Sral was Eile Besara Hashemaima, and there's no question that he's sitting by the Rebbe's Fabrengen, so er seine guter Better, and so er uns bringen dem Rebbe zurück heim so that we can go together with Malkeinu Bereshenu, with Mashiach Tzitkeinu Bimheinu Bimheinu Amen. But I would like to speak about something that's more private, something that was behind closed doors all of these years, and that is that he had a special chush in finding out when a Bach wasn't doing well or there was some kind of a crisis, and he would always come over and ask if he could speak to me privately in the office and as soon as we came in, he would start to speak how we have to fix the situation, resolve the crisis, and he would advocate and push that everything should be well. And many times the, this uh, Bacher wasn't even in his class. Sometimes he uh, wasn't even sure about his name. And later when the crisis would be, would be, uh, be fixed, I would always think that the, the Bakr himself doesn't even know who was helping him, who was advocating for him. The Bakr thought his parents called maybe, his teacher, Mashpia, he didn't even know where it came from. I once took him to a Shiva house in Queens and the person who was there sitting Shiva asked him, why don't you write your Chidushim? And the Rosh Yeshiva answered to him, Ich such nicht machen chidushim. Ich such machen neshames. And that's exactly what he uh, did here, day after day, year after year. Arzal will never be the same ever again. On the other hand, he did uh, leave to us his uh, Sfarim. He wanted his beloved Sfarim to go to his beloved Bachrim. And I know that in the future, his presence will live on through our uh, Bachrim, harving in, in the same Sfarim that he used to harv. Uh, one really interesting memory is the first time we, the first time the Zal had a test, a written test, which was not the common thing initially. And I think the first one, if I'm not mistaken, was the Hemshech to the Sikh of Yudhe Stavis after Didan Notzach, and uh, it was a big event, it was a big deal. We actually went from Troy Avenue, where the Zal was, to uh, Oliteira, to the, to the wedding hall on Eastern Parkway, so everybody would have room to sit at a table and uh, it was like this big event and there was a lot of excitement. And so this was the first time we were getting a written test from Rabbi Sro. And I remember as we were given the questions, uh, one guy after the other coming over to Rabbi Sro and asking him what, what, what he means by this question, what he means by that question. Um, what struck everybody was that this is a, a test like no other. <laughs> the questions were not straightforward, um, and uh, you often weren't really clear what uh, what would be the right answer, would be the wrong answer. And he would explain, so, but Bashtus, it means this, it means that. But the truth is that what he was actually looking for in the test was also to give you an opportunity to think, to demonstrate that you're thinking and um, it wasn't so much about right or wrong, but about that you thought. And uh, what was really shocking was uh, after turning in the uh, test to him um, and getting 
uh, I don't think it was that day, it would have been too many, but a few days later, getting, getting the test back, and I look at my, uh, I look at my test, and uh, my face and instantly falls, my heart sinks, um, there's an X next to every answer, I think almost every answer, and, uh, wow, well, that's, uh, Maybe I, I thought maybe I didn't understand the questions, but to that to that extent, so I went over to the Bisrol, showed him the test. Really upset, I said, "Could it be that I so off base that I would get every single question wrong?" So he says to me, "He says, who says that they're, they're they're wrong?" I said, "Well, you know, look, there's X marks. X. You gave me X next to each question." He said. <laughs> so he said, Well, Jenner, it must be when as a Z meant richtig and as a Z meant not richtig, where is Octus? In other words, <laughs> for him, the X was a check and a check was an X. And I'm not sure if this was true of everybody's test, but um, I, think, I think he may have done that for two things. First, he, he liked to be um, non conventional. But also probably just to give you a little bit of shock therapy and not be too complacent. And even if you did get everything right, don't take yourself too seriously. You still have a lot to learn and a lot to know. So I think he was the, the quintessential teacher in that he was an empowering teacher to really drove you to learn more, to think differently. And uh, he's, a, he's a teacher that uh, we, will, we will remember for and, and appreciate for... Uh, a lifetime. I just want to say a small anecdote. We, I was working with him, we were putting together a Sefer HaPilpulin. So I wrote a long pilpul on Bola Matzah and Bola More. It was a very interesting pilpul. So he says, Mendi, Better you should write something that the Bokram are learning, not a sugi that Bokram don't know. It's very good, he said, but you should write on something that people know. He always pushed us more. He's a great, great man, always with a smile. We lived, when I was younger, I lived right across the street from Yisrael. So I remember walking with him at nights, sometimes after a farang, it would be three, four o'clock in the morning. And you'd walk him home and he was already back to hate and we'd finally get into his house. And I remember looking at my window's face, his window, I always used to see that his window was always open for a good half hour after he let, went into the house. Pasha was saying, Kishra which we saw what it means to be a chassidish a person that was alive and had chayas and levity kayat. So we should all uh, learn what it means to be a hecha kayat, an edel kayat, a hudden kayat, to live a life that's really a higher life of really skashas. There's one story that stands out of my mind. It was winter Toshim Emtes, maybe Toshim Nun. And, and a bacher shows up in yeshiva from Russia. And I haven't, I haven't seen this boy in well over 30 years. I, I, I don't know what happened to him. Like I, I, le I left afterwards on Shlichas, but he showed up in, in, in the yeshiva, and uh, the first day he came, he was wearing, let's just say, uh, clothing, like, like he stepped off the boat. He was wearing glasses that literally looked antiquated from generations ago. At lunch, and he and he sat down and just learned. Didn't say a word to anybody, and he learned Bahasmada Gdela for the entire seder. And then everybody got up to go to lunch, so he went to lunch. He walked off to Carroll Street, up Troy Avenue. And that day was there was bananas. I guess uh, after after the main uh, the main course, the main fair that Segundo was giving us, and this young boy started to eat the banana with the peel. So I kind of went over in my broken Hebrew. I said to him, it's not how you eat a banana. And he said, what is a banana? I said, that's the thing you're holding. <laughs> and I showed, it's like unbelievable. Like, literally of a time warp. I showed him how you open a banana and eat it. And he had never seen a banana in his life. So this goes on for a day or two. He doesn't have a chavrusa. And he's just sitting and learning with, with like this incredible asmada. And I, I went over to Rabbi Sol and I said, Rabbi Sol, the, this boy seems to be in need of clothing. And Rabbi Sol immediately kind of zeroed in on the needs of this boy. And he gave me money. And he made sure I would take him shopping. 
and he wanted a report afterwards. And he, he interested himself so in this young Bacher that it left an indelible impression on me. And I don't know, but to me, I, it seems that the reason that Yisrael had such a powerful hashpa on us, the reason that he had the ability to influence, influence us in the way that he did and to transform us in the way that he did, was not only because of his intellectual genius, and not only because of his capacity to teach and to show us how to learn, but because he pushed simply cared about the boys. He cared about us, and, and we felt that. I remember he was fabrenging one time. Michlal, when he fabrenged, it was mamish with a, such a, a gishmak, and the way he explained things by a fabrenging was unbelievable. It was after... It was after... It, it, was, it was before. It was, he was fabrenging. Tavshin on Beis Matzvah, right? fabrenging. He was talking about what... what uh, it says in Tanya, Chai Talking about the Rebbe, the Rebbe, what it means a Rebbe, that it's, the Rebbe is not just a physical person down here. The Rebbe is Chai Atzadik, is Chai Amruchnim, and the Iskashros there has to be that a person is total Ibrik Yemkai, the Rebbe. And he was talking to us about a Bachar goes by, goes by dollars. What's he thinking about? Give me a dollar. It's my birthday. I was born. I want a dollar. He says, what do you think? The Rebbe is a bracha machine. Instead of putting out a dollar, you're taking out a dollar. He was telling us about the iskashos to the Rebbe, the Ibi Geben Kait, that there's nothing else. Remember after Chavzai and other, he said, if the Rebbe is not going to blow shoifer, this Rosh Hashanah, I'm going to go myself up to the Bim and make sure no one else can blow shoifer because it's Ashrei Yom Yedi Yisroa, not Teik Yisroa. Everything is Rebbe and Das Yidas. How annoyed Rabbi Israel would be <laughs> first day of anyone talking about him, praising him. Uh, it's push it so out of my league that it's it, it's weird to, to, to be saying anything about Rabbi Israel. Uh, of course, Rabbi Israel is truly one of a kind. Uh, Yer Shemayim is genius. Uh, he's eccentric, extremely eccentric, uh, extremely kind, and uh, but it, and. Uh, Couple of things. I, a couple of things I remember. Uh, before his shear, he would walk into the zal, beginning of seder, pick a bacher that needed some love, and uh, and and uh, maybe wouldn't otherwise be learning during seder, and sat him across from him for the whole entire seder, make him read the gemara with him, read it over with him, make sure he understood it. It was mom's a beautiful thing to see. On his way over. Uh, he st- he usually when I when I was in a chair he'd stop by my table, and uh, he would talk to me and say oh, he wants to talk about this uh, Rashba, this Ramban. I think we were learning to get Gitlin that year. Uh, he'd give me a little uh, heads up on what he wanted to talk about, and then ask me what I think about this and what I think about that. And uh, of course, just that exercise alone uh, is uh, a good example of his anivas. He would sit here and talk to me, a pitcher about uh, what he was going to say in cheer, which was, of course, brilliant. And uh, but, he, but he was just so intellectually honest that he, he, if you said something good, he took it in. And if he said something, he went on, he went on, a, on a path for a half hour, and then the opposite thought fell on his head. He would turn the whole thing on his head uh, and, 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 and turn it over. It just like his intellectual curiosity, truly, truly uh, incredible. And then I think, you know, to make sure that didn't get too much to my head that he was stopping at my table. He he, had, he would make sure that I got that I was the one to get him coffee from the Kretschmer. <laughs> uh, I remember one time I asked him if he wanted sugar with his coffee, and it was for like the first time I didn't know how he likes coffee. Get, get me coffee from the Kretschmer. They said the word sugar. I think his face like he pushed a grimace. He really, really anyone that knows him, I think I've read this already, and some of what people are writing. He did not. He was mys. <laughs> it was mys. Not not just that he wasn't interested in Gashmis. He was Moya Sengashmis. I heard a story um, about Rabbi Yisrael as a Bachar and uh, with the Rebbe, and I wanted to hear it directly from him. So I asked him uh, if, uh, when he was a Bachar, he had any uh, Kiruvim, any, any uh, special connection to the Rebbe. I mean, he mentioned. I don't recall the uh, details, maybe someone else uh, could share the story, but 
if I recall correctly, he said one night, either it was late at night, maybe early in the morning following the Fabrangan, but for some reason he was the only one in Zal uh, learning. I think it was late at night. And he said the Rebbe came in. He didn't see the Rebbe. He was still learning. And um, he later found out that the Rebbe asked somebody who was around, who's the Bachar uh, sitting over there and learning? And when he said it, he had... I can't really describe it, but it... it he wasn't saying it to uh, Ki'ilu like how great he was that the uh, Rebbe was asking about him. It was, on the contrary, it, it, it almost seemed like he was humbled by the fact that how awesome it was to him that the Rebbe would th was thinking about him. I'll never forget this. The first week of uh, Yeshiva in Chodesh El, Machavosa and myself we were learning, I think it was uh, Baba Basra, and we looked at the Rishonim and the Achronim, and we went up to Rabbi Yisrael. We wanted to ask him a question in one of the Mepharshim. And uh, when it came our turn to ask him the question, he gave us the sharpest look in the world. And he just stared at us, and he held his beard, and he asked us uh, if we understand the Gemara. And we looked at each other, we said, uh, we believe that we do understand the Gemara. And he opened the Gemara and he asked myself and Machavrusa to start saying the Gemara. And we said the Gemara and we translated it and he looked at us and he says, you understand the Gemara? And he started asking us questions, just on shot in the Gemara. We couldn't really answer his questions. And, and uh, needless to say, you know, we felt uh, quite bad going <laughs> in Shirdal, you're already 19, 20 years old. I'm going up to Rabbi Yisrael to ask him a, a question on him first, and he shows you, you don't really know Pshat in the Gemara, and he, then he sat us down by his desk, and he says, this is how you learn Gemara, and he showed us, uh, just from Rashi, just looking at Rashi, the, the choice of words that Rashi uses, just uh, teaches you and shows you how to really understand the Gemara, and that was his, that was his uh, Mahalach the whole year, and I gotta say that it was just a, it was, it was really incredible to, to learn under him, to just uh, look at a piece of Gemara and look at Rashi and to, to really try to understand what Gemara was saying. Rabbi Yisrael was Ish Shekulei Taira. His whole Metzias, his whole existence was learning in Taira. He didn't only love it and cherish it. This was his oxygen. This was his chayas, his life, his vitality. Remember, he once came to Yeshiva in the morning and he shared with me how he spent the night trying to figure out the words of the Rajba. Ah, the Fashtes the Rajba, the Fashtes for the Rajba Zakt, a diuk in the Lashon of the Rajba, in the phrase of the Ramban or the Ritva, never mind Rashi or Taisvas. This was his life, this was his chayas. He could sit a whole night to understand the line in the Alter Rebbe Shulchan Aruch. Rebbe Yisrael was a living embodiment of the type of dvekas in Hashem that we experience through Torah that the Alter Rebbe explains in hundreds and hundreds of Maimarim in Tanya, in Torah Er, in Lakut Torah and in so many other Maimarim personified by all the Rabbeim until the Rebbe that the deepest dvekas, the deepest intimacy, the deepest oneness with truth and with infinity happens and Rabbi Yisrael learned like that. It wasn't just intellectual curiosity which he had and a great mind which he had and a great love and passion which he had. But this was his very tainuk. This was his ecstasy. It was part of who he was. When we were in Shir Dalid, there was a Chavrusa that would learn in 770 at night, uh, quite late. One night, Rabbi Yisrael came into 770. It was about 10.30. And uh, one of the Talmidim, one of the members of the Chavrusa, ran over to Rabbi Yisrael to ask him a question. They were in the middle of discussing something. So Rabbi Yisrael says, What are you doing in 770 at this hour? So he says, I have a Chavrusa. So he says, What are you learning? He says, We're learning Chulin. He says, Which daf? So he told him the daf. Rabbi Yisrael began immediately saying the words Mila Bemila, saying the Gemara. 
the Mishnah, and so on. The second is that uh, we were once standing around this table, and uh, one, we were talking about hachlotas, a project, and one of the bacharim was uh, discouraging, was uh, speaking down about this idea that was being discussed around the table. So one of the bacharim referred to the other as Amolik. He says, you are an Amolik. So Rabbi Yisrael said, Amolik is only when you leave Mitzrayim. In Mitzrayim, there's no Amolik. The third Nekuda is that um, we were in Shir Dalet, Tavshin Nun Gimel. During that time, the Rebbe was, was after Chavzayin Adon on Beis, and the Rebbe was coming out on the porch at various times. And uh, we never knew when, and there was the alarm. At, th- at that time, the Zal was on Troy Avenue between Montgomery and Empire Boulevard at Rhinus and the Rhinus Shul, which was quite far from 770. The alarm would ring, and Bacharim would uh, bat out of the Zal and run up Troy and Albany and Kingston, running and to, to make it. And sometimes we missed it because the Rebbe came out just for a moment. And uh, other times we were there for a few minutes and even for a tefillah. In general, the Bochrim would run, younger light, uh, weren't running, and uh, of course not elderly people, middle-aged people, and so on. Rabbi Yisroh was always makbid to go and be there and run and catch a ride, and uh, it was a whole thing for him to make sure to be there. So one of the Bochrim once asked him, Rabbi Yisroh, what do you run for? There's no sikhah, there's no uh, maimer, the, you go to a few minutes, uh, what, what, why are you making such an issue to run and make sure to be there? So Rabbi Yisrael responded, as hind, dos is his kashos gluya. Today, that's the revealed his kashos that we have. Our connection to the Rebbe that we don't, that's deeper than what we understand, that is always w- beyond us. But his kashos gluya, that's what we have today. So of course, he has to be there. It's important to mention also that he really was a chassid first, and and you know we we, we blessed our mitzvah chassid yir shemayim and alamd, and that's really Rabbi Yisrael. He was a chassid first, then he was a tremendous yir shemayim, and then and then he was a tremendous alamd. But but that was after because I, I I remember one time uh, we used to do a shir in the nigla on 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 Matzah Shabbos the bachur would give over shir. So one 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 week it was my turn, and I said something over, and I and I said something, but I, I was. Till till uh, my o- older high school years or post high school, I was in Misnagdish. I said something from Reb Chaim, and then I said that I think that 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 uh, that Tzemach Tzedek maybe could be saying the same thing. Could could also be saying the same thing. Like for the next week, he wouldn't let it go. He was like, "You say you say a vort <laughs> that the Tzemach Tzedek says, <laughs> and you say it in the name of Reb Chaim, and that was it." Yeah, by him, he, he had a good, his title for me was uh, the Fertrunken Misnagdish. <laughs> That it, 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 it shows where he was at, you know. He, he did Tzemach Tzedek. That's that, that's who you bring. And 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 you saw that by him a lot of times. I also remember one time if I bring, I knew this because they didn't for bring with the Bachar a lot. One time if I bring, he was talking about it, it was like old world stuff. A Bachar spends seder. A Bachar asked him permission to go do the laundry. He's like a Bachar could be miyached his 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 brain with a yichud niflo with the ebishter. And he wants to take off time to go do the laundry. Does he understand what he's given up? Does it? That, and and that was it. Push it. You could see he went on at this point for a half hour. A half hour is just going on and on. And it was it was it's incredible to see and incredible to hear. Uh, also, uh, you know, of course, his shear was just incredible. It was one of a kind. You never heard. Shear him like that. It wasn't like a question and answer. Usually, a shear has some kind of pattern. Rabbi Israel shear had no pattern. It was all over the place. It was as fast as his mind uh, could think, and and made connections between things that that were just like sort of uh, things that would never occur to you. And it showed a tremendous uh, uh, analytical ability. Besides, for a bikias in, in in a lot of uh, like a real bikias, like things at, at his fingertips and in, in in all kinds of seemingly unconnected things. Sometimes you'd see him walk into Zal, just, just, these are all random things falling into my head. Yeah, he had Tanya, his, 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 his lips were moving. Uh, he was saying, Tanya Balper, Mishnayas Balper, or something. And, and then, you know, finally, I remember after I left Yeshiva, I became, uh, now I'm a lawyer. Uh, always asked me, you know, very unique questions, like, where am I holding an Avaida, and then Limit 
how am I doing? He really cared, like, how are you doing? He wanted to know, like, am I, am I a good businessman? Am I, <laughs> am I making money? Uh, and, uh, and he, he would often ask for, uh, help, you know, but not like, a for help for for what he what he called kupas bachram, which he, he would talk to you be like you know there's a bachar he's this old he's getting married this is exactly what he needs his chasen is next week it was like he's, he, he was you know and you've seen now since, since his, his since he passed a lot of these beautiful stories he genuinely had obviously Yisrael. the picture from the Alton Rebbe is in Tanya. And this is the Alton Rebbe is not given. And this is given, hey, in the Markova, this is given the Alton Rebbe. And this is the Bilzan, the Rebbe, who can cut his ears. This is the nose, this is the ever. As nose, ever, in the Vrara, in the Mugas, was the Rebbe of Magia, the Rebbe of Gizokta, those can still learn it. Those is my mimer, those is my Sikha. Yes, it's a good to listen to all the Sikha. Saint Yoni, the Rebbe read, over the Vrara, because there's all the tires and from Tumas Mess, and the Mayim Chayim, from Tumas Zab, the Hulu. Those is the gay dafke and who is the the divra rab hein hein a dose is hein hein adorim amedere. Coming from a yeshiva with young ahala, young mashpim, I came to Altera looking for someone young that I could connect to. Yisrael was the youngest guy I found in the room. Yisrael really, really cared for the bachim, and it's Hisab and Muchash that when I was there, it was already it was last year. And Rebbe Svel's memory wasn't as good as it used to be. And one time I asked him a question, and the next day, which was 20 hours later, he showed up to, to Yeshiva, and the first thing he did is he walked straight over to me, and he started addressing my question, which I myself didn't even remember. And it was clear to me how much he cared for the Bachim, that he was obviously thinking about this question the whole night, that, uh, that the moment he came back to Yeshiva, he right away went over to me to address the question. So one day, this story sticks out in my mind. This brings out the Rabbi Yisrael's warmth in, in such a beautiful way. So I was walking, it was on Yutas Kislev, and I was walking out of Zal after Mincha. And Rabbi Yisrael would always finish Aleinu like a minute or two after the minion. So as I'm passing by, Rabbi Yisrael turns to me and says, Ah, oh, you have to cook the room for a bachar to dance in the Gans Tag. And on, on the, after he said that, he put his hands on my shoulder. And started singing and started dancing around in a circle. And as Bachim noticed this, a few other Bachim joined in, and this went on for a minute or two. Um, so this story is just one of those. Uh, it's that moment that stuck out in my mind of the warmth that Rabbi Yisrael had, bchalal to everything and to his Bachim, which uh, really something I treasure.
darf man lernen, sagt lernen, mich neues Lehrling, ich muss sagen, das muss in der Talmudim tun, dass er doch sehr Rebbe, sehr Rosh Hashiva ist als Getreischaft zu der, zu der Rosh Hashiva, was er hat gegeben zu der Talmudim, kommt ihm am so lernen für ihn mich neues, passiert. Und, und jeder Talmud sagt, es ist mir nach Schreibers, in der Elf Chodosh, jeden Tag lernen Chodosh Mishnitz, ja, Perik, aber wie können wir lassen, also, wie steht der Lassen, Le Bonner ja nicht zurück, denn ich schaue, wir können doch jetzt nicht lernen, mich nice, das darf lernen, das haben wir denn, wir sind in den Kindern. Ist die Kinder von Rabbi Sroll, darf sein, eine große Tamule, Poschet lernen, mich nice, das ist der Hefte, Eloi, das ist noch mehr wie Kaddish. Kaddish ist gemacht, für die, was können nicht lernen. Er sagt, der Ekel, Eloi, nicht mehr so, ist mich nice, lernen teuer, befragt, nicht nur, es ist nicht schon mehr. Nur bei denen, für die, was können nicht lernen, mich nice, hat er nicht gesagt, ich gewinne Kaddish. Aber der Best, der Katrille, der Best, is Mishnais. The Mele, that in me, all the Poshit Poshit as Hakoras Atoyv, Mose as a Tolu in the Mishnais from the Talmudim. Daf Yedder Bracha, Daf Hobben, the Nomen, a Daf Trachten, the Nomen as a Lentos, Daf Esogun Balpe, Darf ich schreien, aber zu, zu dem Ewigsten, dass der Mishnah ist, was er lernt, ist Lischus, den ich schaue, von wie er wie Israel heißt und wie sein Tate heißt. Weil bei, bei, bei gewissen Sachen sagt man der Mame, aber er gab ihm Lernen, der Heure Mishnah ist, sagt man der Tate. Aber man darf das sagen, Eidem hat er lernen, sagt man, dass ich lerne, ich lerne nicht, was er Israel. So the Abish to help him as gar gar schnell soll kommen Mashiach, wir wollen weiter zusammen sein mit dem Teilen Rosh Hashivah, Zechusa Yogay Nuleinuk.